Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Fear the Old Lore, or as we've been calling it, Dark Souls Prepare to Lore Edition. Uh, yesterday we finished off just killing the uh, Bell Guardian Gargoyles on top of the uh, Undead Church. So today we're going to continue off from there. We're going to head down into the depths and head into Blight Town the front way, I guess. I usually go in from the back, so it'll be a little bit different for me. Uh, we talked to all of our NPCs over here after defeating the Gargoyles. The Crestfallen Knight here had a little bit more to say, but uh, not too much. He told us of the Griggs, so that's kind of our hint to go see him. I was thinking about going down the tower back to New Londo. I guess I haven't been there yet. So towards New Londo and getting the Firekeeper's soul there? I probably just won't do that right now, actually. Uh, instead, we'll talk to our tongueless Firekeeper down here to boost our Estus flask healing and then we'll go into the dark garden briefly just so I can get the elite knight set because uh it's kind of the default set of armor that's fe that's uh, featured on the cover of the game so actually yeah we'll, we'll do it that way so no real reason other than just uh immersion I guess Kermit the Durham welcome in and Infalis and Brian Young nice to have all of you again so Anastasia, if we look at her... Of course, I had the binoculars out first. If we look at her through the bars here, you can, can't can really tell, but it almost looks as though there's like little blood stains on the bottom of her skirt there. Uh, I think her skirt mentions that there's blood stain to it, so... Some people have wondered if she's been maimed. At the very least, uh, the Crestfallen Knight will tell us that uh, her tongue has been cut out for... Potentially, like, religious reason reasons. So, if we try to talk to her, there's no response. She cannot speak. So we can reinforce the Estes Flask by giving her the Firekeeper Soul that we picked up in the parish up there. And also, Lawtrek should be here, shouldn't he? Maybe it takes him a while to come here. I don't remember the triggers for everything, so I guess I should look around before doing that. Cause I don't even remember where he stands actually. I thought it was like over here. The Griggs and stuff would be there. Definitely not up that way. Is he over by? No, because that's where Patches would be. So maybe he just hasn't made his way down here yet. Uh, this dialogue goes on forever. <laughs> Alright, so uh, since we gonged the first Bell of Awakening, we hear this strange snoring, which is none other than Framped, a primordial serpent, uh, chilling out in the area. So that's kind of cool foreshadowing. Probably a little bit scary for new players. They're like, what the hell is that coming from? So, yeah, okay. I'll probably just need to look at chat and see what you guys are saying. Oh yeah, we also picked up the other... Um, to go to the undead asylum so that's something we could do later on as well stashio mk3 welcome back to the stream or welcome into the stream i don't believe i've seen you before Morty says you thought it was just because of the dingy set has blood from when lacha killed her and they just didn't make a unique version for her that it was not blood covered that's probably uh an interesting point to bring up and you might be right because they do uh recycle a lot of their assets so since we talked to her, he might... Okay. He might uh, say something different. Brian Young says, He's across from the Firekeeper. Like a beast looking at prey. So maybe he just didn't spawn in yet. Or may I might just be blind because I wasn't... paying the most attention. So okay, I guess he's just not here yet. Thank you. Bjarki, welcome. Welcome back in. You said he should be in front of the Firekeeper. Okay. Stasio tends to lurk in streams. It's all good. Appreciate it, nonetheless. Katie says, Legend says that if you say sweet dreams to Frampt, he might brush his teeth before the next time he brings you to the kiln. Might be an arbitrary trigger, good old FromSoft. Yeah, I might need to die, because that didn't happen, but... 
Have you been to the ruins of New London below? Just head down the stairs and take the lift. It's certainly worth a visit. It was once an undead city. You may find a clue or two, unless the ghosts find you first. <laughs> Really weird how it's out. So that brought it. Oh, maybe I just didn't save it after the fact. So keep the voice up high. Oh, have you seen that terribly morose lass? The fire keeper. She's stuck keeping that bonfire lit. Sad, really. She's mute and bound to this forsaken place. They probably cut her tongue out back in her village so that she'd never say any god's name in vain. How do these martyrs keep chugging along? I'd peter out in an instant. <laughs> so, uh, despite what he says, he is kind of using language that's more speculative in nature. He doesn't know exactly how or why her tongue was cut out from her. So uh, the idea of the firekeeper saying a god's name in, in vain or mistakenly is kind of interesting to, con to consider. Um, and I, I really don't know what to make of it, to be honest, but the role of firekeepers is pretty enigmatic in general, but at the very least, uh, he does also point out that her connection to the bonfire is what keeps it going, but that doesn't seem to be entirely strictly true, just because a uh, Lacha can kill her, the bonfire will still continue to burn, and we can also encounter bonfires without any firekeepers, so, uh, maybe... Wait, maybe when she dies, you can't use this bonfire. So maybe he is right. It's, I don't remember the triggers for that. <laughs> I might be wrong there. Either way, um, it'll be interesting to just double check as we continue along here. Uh, Loco Baxter, welcome back in. You said, what's, uh, what's soup all? <laughs> How are you doing today? We're doing pretty well. How about yourself? And Elda, welcome back in. Humanity's good. Stashu says, you got burnt out on the Dark Souls games and started playing Hellpoint? How is Hellpoint? I don't believe I've heard of it, actually. Brian Young says, that's an interesting line about the home, home village. Makes you think the idea of penance or abuse to cause godly enlightenment, just in your opinion. She is also, oddly enough, undead. Oh yeah, that is right. If you kill any of the bonfire, uh, fire keepers, the bonfires fizzle. Yeah, for some reason, when I think of it with the, the bronze uh, dark moon fire keeper, it just swells into my memory. But I guess I don't do like the stuff with Law Trek too often because the ring of protection or ring of favor is too good to kind of pass up. Mm -hmm. What now? I'm not up for chatting. Leave me alone. So you bring up a good point there. So let's go back into the darker garden and then we'll go into the other portion of the undead burg, rescue our good old sorcerer Griggs, and then uh, proceed on from there. Uh, Io Pencil the Fourth, you ask, am I the Lore King? Absolutely not. <laughs> Part of these streams is also me learning things or like putting things back into context. So, uh, I'd like to consider myself a, a scholar as much as you guys are. Elder said you genocided everyone right before you killed Gwyn, so you know. Yeah, I do that too on my runs, especially if you're like trying to do like all of the new game cycles to get the platinum or whatever. So uh, now we can actually one hand our Zweihander appropriately. And then I still get hit for no reason. Not trying to stay locked on. So uh, the first time we came through towards the Dark Root Garden, we didn't go in. We just killed the uh, Titanite Knight Demon. And I don't think I actually read the, the Demon Titanite Knight now that I think about it. Um, I suppose it's not like super relevant though. How many do I have? Okay, only 400. Might as well rest up. Oh, that's probably a mistake. Well, no, it'll be fine. Stashio says, uh, Hellpoint is a fun Souls-like game, but it plays like Bloodborne. You want to see lore videos on that game? Not from you exclusively, just in general. Oh yeah, I think I remember. It might have been you who uh, said you wanted to see me talk about that game on one of the comments that's starting to ring a bell for me 
Loco says, that's why it's a good game. You can learn something new all the time. We're all equals here. Equally wrong, at least. Pretty much. So this is the uh, Scary Darker Garden. Killing these um, former Scarecrow type dudes will make them drop the mosses pretty often. So they're kind of a, a nice enemy to farm. And the only reason I'm coming here again is just to get that elite knight set and then we'll uh, bound out of here. Oh, the, the puddles are a lot more reflective. Oh yeah, I forget. You actually need to wait for this one to kind of revive. I think that was the last enemy before getting to our secret spot. So one of the reasons to come here would be to try to get the Divine Ember that uh, Andre was talking about. Oh wow, it's a lot more lit up over here in the remake, or remaster. At least there's like more particle effects maybe? So here's like a, an illusory wall, illusory wall. And this is what we would need the Crest of Artorias for. It was locked by some contraption, which we don't have yet. So how people are supposed to know about this other than using like that one miracle, I don't really know. This is a, a nice bonfire to have. You could also come to the right side of the wall and uh, it'll take you to the next area. Now this says a scholar and a gentleman. Uh, Philippe, welcome back. And Wenders, nice to see you again. It's been a bit. Philippe says Hellpoint has surprisingly good level design and platforming. Enemy diversity is a bit weak though. Okay. You do like that Hellpoint just has a lot of optional exploring to its levels. Ooh, that's nice. Dashio says, Hellpoint's co-op mechanic is interesting to you. When you beat a boss with a friend, the area leading up to the boss doesn't go offline like it would in this game. Oh, okay. Elda says, wait, you think these bushwhackers were Ulusil scarecrows? Yeah, I assume so. They're probably just, like, overgrown with moss over time. But this spot can be kind of annoying. Oh, my dog scared the crap out of me. Jesus. It's not fair. Getting too, too distracted. I don't know if we got a package or something. No, she's just freaking out about something. I have no idea. So, the jumping attack with his Vihander. Got rid of those things just to get some uh, nameless souls. Alright, sorry about all that. Bleep says, when you showed the game to your brother, he thought that the setting looked confusing as there's a bunch of melee weapons and medieval looking units in a sci-fi game. Professor Gomez, welcome back. He said, greetings, hope you have a good stream. The boss that gave you the, the lots of trouble in DS1 on your first playthrough with Sif. You remember you defeated the team of Ornstein and Smo on your first try? Damn, nice. Uh, Sif was a little bit difficult my first time around. Uh, Ornstein and Smo definitely uh, wrecked me my first time through. I think it's this corpse that has it. Okay. We're out. We got what we came for. And a little bit more with the little mosses. And I'm not about trying to fight the Moonlight Butterfly just butterfly just yet. So the real question is how much of this uh, set can I equip? <laughs> Without going uh, overweight and fat rolling. Although that's probably not going to be a big deal. Just between uh, one hand and this Vihander and then using the shield in the other. So yeah, it, it does seem a lot clearer. Damn, this thing's still following in the remaster. 
Like you can kind of see more of the area. In general. Venom, welcome back. You said... These effects are so strange to you. You played the Switch version of Remastered, so it's all very new to you? Okay. So does the... What effects are you talking about? Just like the particle effects and stuff? Or like the shiny puddles? Elder said you didn't know you could roll break the, break the walls? <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Brian says, stand on the corner of the map by the left side of the illusory wall. Look off to the side. You can see some effects and maybe the tip of the bonfire. Okay. Yeah, I guess that would be a way of figuring out this there. Not very straightforward, but... Uh, at least with the online mechanics of being able to, like, leave messages. Oh, wait. We could probably... No, I don't want to upgrade the weapon. It's really good. We just need to level up more, essentially. Let's try. Does it really weigh that much more? Holy crap. Oh, okay, so we can't even level up just yet. <laughs> this is definitely like the cover art armor, in case you guys didn't know, even though I've said it like 30 times already. Uh, did I just rest? Yeah, because I tried to level up. So where are we going now? The depths. Okay. Do you actually run slower? That's going to drive me crazy. But it, it already felt like I was running slow to begin with. Okay. Wait. That's too heavy. Oh, we had the hollow one. Yeah, okay. I can't tell if I'm actually running slow or not. I don't think I am. It just feels slow. Your dog is telling you not to kill his brother Sif later on. He, Lore LP doesn't even have a dog. He's crazy. <laughs> Yulia isn't there. Las Vegas, welcome. You said your dog senses her fellow doggo Sif. We're not going to fight Sif at least yet. Uh, I might do the stuff to uh, get the quote-unquote good ending with Sif. Because I don't... No, I think I did do that on one of my playthroughs. But, um, at the very least, I know that that'd kind of be nice footage to have. So probably you have some incentive to do it. Uh, <laughs> Venom said your dog scared the crap out of me, yeah. <laughs> and you didn't even have it right next to your ear, but yeah, I, I do know that the mic can pick up quite a lot, so. Between the, uh, the plant men and then the dog, it's one hell of a jump scare. Bleep's favorite aspect of Hellpoint was that there are huge segments of the levels accessible through tricky platforming. There's really much rewards, though. Oh, that's unfortunate. I do like when uh, games can kind of, like, reward tricky platforming like that. Um, one example that comes to mind, which doesn't quite work completely, would be, like, uh, Jack and Daxter. Like, if you know how to play the game well, you can break it. Same thing with, like, some of the Marios, I guess. Yeah, Mario would probably be a better example. Oh damn, he came up the stairs. He kicked my butt. There's also a lot of roots through Hellpoint. It's reminiscent of Dark Souls 1. Elder said you were probably over leveled when fighting a lot of the bosses because you had fun grinding. Yeah, it, that can happen. Venom says, yeah, the Switch version has improvements like better frame rate and such, but it uses the original fire and particle effects. Okay. Experience kind of ended on a sour taste as the final boss was real glitchy, and the secret final boss was kind of BS. You do like how New Game Plus is canon in Hellpoint? Okay. 
The game just goes, I'll time travel you to the beginning and I'll get it right. Okay. Yeah, you do run and walk slower at over 50% weight? Okay, thank you. Sunny D. Sunny Death. You think Hell Point's a hidden gem? Yeah, I, I don't believe I've even heard of it. Except for like what you guys have mentioned. If it wasn't says, you want to go for the good old Ziff's cutscene? Remember never to talk to Frampt. Oh, okay. Shh. Nice. That's going to be annoying. Maybe I won't do that except for like on New Game Plus. Because getting Frampt's uh, text is a lot more important to me than uh... the footage of the dog. Because no matter what you do with Sif, it's going to be a, a bit of a sad ending. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I didn't think it would come back. You're screwed. It'd be funny if I don't actually have the key after all, but... We do. Ended Berg. So we're gonna head down towards the depths and uh, go to Blight Town. And thank you for reminding me about that, Effervescent. I would have uh, totally forgotten. So coming down here is a pretty cool area. Oh yeah, I forget we actually have this entire thing to go through. Capra Demon. <laughs> that was bad. Uh, probably go back to the bonfire just because it's right there. So that little gate obviously opened the way back into the undead burg. Oh, I never looked out over that way. He stabbed me as I was sitting. I wonder if I'm still hurt. Yeah, it's annoying. So we can uh, keep pumping up endurance, but uh, maybe I, I need to go. No, let's go with endurance and I'll just suffer with lo the low HP. Maybe we'll be good now. Okay, just barely. Oh, the crossbow guy. Literally haven't been here for like one stream and already forget everything that's over there. Oh, I never did go on top of that roof, did I? No, I didn't actually fully explore this place now that I think about it. Damn it. Okay. I don't think you can ever get over there. I thought there really was a way up on top of that roof. Maybe... I was like, what the hell hit me? It was this dude. Getting wrecked by the silly hollows. At least we got a cracked round shield. I don't believe we had that one before. Pretty confident there actually was a way up there other than ju jumping. But I don't remember what it is off the top of my head. Well, that's not how you jump. Elder said, what 
What are people's thoughts about how Bloodborne has enemies sometimes pick up your echoes so you had to kill them to get it back? It was a neat idea and you wonder if they'll do it again. I thought it was an interesting idea. Um, it could be kind of annoying at times though if you died to like a, a tough enemy or just one that was like surrounded by a bunch of things. So you can just quickly pick up all of your stuff again. Definitely not over here. We need to go over there? No. Okay, so maybe I'm just misremembering about going up that way. You guys are probably like, what are you doing, idiot? Let me actually catch up with you guys completely. Bloom, you welcome back. Uh, how, how's everyone doing today, actually? How points a game that just puts stuff behind giant puzzles and doesn't care that most pe people will never find it? You choose your own difficulty, in a way, because there's a set of items that allow you to increase or lower it, kind of like the world tendency in Demon's Souls, but under player control. Interesting. You still keep finding things in Dark Souls even though you've played it to death? You found out today you can impale the giant rat in the sewers with a plunging attack, like with the Asylum and Taurus Demon? The Daring Effigy increases the difficulty. Uh, Eldest says, wait, you can uh, one-hand the Zweihander now? Yes, we got to 24 strength. Made sense to do it lore-wise, so it depends on the lore of the next game. You found the BB mechanic really annoying in Chalice Dungeons when he dies? To the spider spawning bell ladies? Yeah, that'd be tough. Elder liked the random monsters picking up the echoes? You mean you pick up theirs after all? Fair is fair. Blue Muse suspects Elden Ring might be the last done in such relation. To be called Souls, as Miyazaki's next projects will be different. He's going to move back to uh, Armored Core. <laughs> Day Warlord, welcome back. It's been a while. You said go down past the merchant and climb the ladder. Oh, yeah, I don't think I ever did go that way just because of the merchant there. It distracted me. Thank you. Wait, no, I think I did once. Maybe I didn't. No, I think I did. Oh, maybe I only farmed the uh, enemies there for their souls to buy something real quick. That, that would be something that I'd do. <laughs> And also, hello. You can impale anything if you have the high ground. Anyone still waiting for Miyazaki to reveal the really weird game he said he was making because he said that before Elden Ring was announced and there's been nothing on it? Other than, uh, Durasane? <laughs> oh no, that just goes back that way. Yeah, we've, we've definitely done this. Oh, turned away? That was weird. Okay. Not trying to die to some old hollows as I immediately walk into their attacks. You didn't think the giant rats were big enough? Okay. Merc says, you like the idea of enemies basically drinking the blood from your corpse, but since the hunter is undead, they come back like, give them here. <laughs> oh, okay, so I was totally wrong. We didn't actually come up here. We get the throwing knives, and then we can take the jump to get over there. So this would be where you could first see the wyvern. Right, I knew you could get up here. Thank you. Is that I would have forgotten about that little pass. I don't think there's anything else here. We get the little catwalk, and then it just drops us back out to the beginning a little bit. Okay. Oh, I lied. We get a light crossbow and standard bolts. Alright, so now we know. Almost enough to level up again. I mean, we're, we're definitely short, but kind of crazy. Since I use so much damn Estus, we'll uh, rest, and then we'll go down into the lower Undeadburg. 
Leap says, you'll see if the other projects interest you. You mostly play FromSoft games for the level design and maybe the bosses. The simple but tight gameplay really helps it. If the other games aren't like that, maybe you won't play them. You like Armored Core, or like Armored Core doesn't look bad, but it looks like you're in a dull arena with enemies, not your style. Bloomy says, that's one of them. Armored Core has been on the back burner for years. He seemed excited to do a very weird game in his words. Uh, so for you guys who are big fans of like the Metroidvania games, I would highly recommend playing uh, Cave Story. It's pretty old by t by now, actually. Um, it was a solo developed indie game a long, long time ago, maybe like 2008 or something like that. But it was just uh, done with like so much love, and it's it's a really good game that I enjoy a lot. It's got really good mechanics, uh, and it has like a few kind of uh, secrets that are definitely worth getting. Just overall a really, really fun and enjoyable game. This is about as much as one can ask for, really. Morta says, what's Durasun? So, it's Durasune. Uh, let me type it in chat here. here. It was like uh, FromSoft's VR game that's kind of uh, got the same aesthetic stuff going on as like Bloodborne. I actually don't know too much about it other than it was a FromSoft game that they made. <laughs> and uh, it deals with like dreams and like psychology, sort of. It'd be nice to see Shatter Tower again. Guilty pledge wise, you kind of went Ninja Blade too. Uh, J King thirteen, welcome in. You said you love how the Zvi is the fuck you in particular kind of weapon. Uh, I feel like the Zvi is more like the fuck everybody in particular kind of weapon. Oh yeah, I shouldn't. Uh, I should try to avoid cursing more often. I, I was doing pretty well the past few streams, but oh, out of stamina. Oh, we're stuck on the dogs. So I just used the roll uh, thrust attack right there to deal with it. Thought I heard it. Blue Mew says, you will be happy to see the concept work for the next AC. Verdict Day had bulky bots, so timeline-wise, you have no idea what direction they'll go. It honestly took me a second to remember what AC you're talking about. I'm like, Assassin's Creed. No, Animal Crossing. No, <laughs> Armored Core. <laughs> Gotta go down the list. Too many uh, acronyms in video games. Anyone home? Somebody. Oh, anybody. damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. We could, uh, try to get this back. Elda says, Durasane is in a VR story about being an unseen fairy in an old-timer British school with FromSoft Easter eggs. Professor Gomez says, can you repeat the name of the game? The Metroidvania one from 2008. So Bloom, you typed it in just before you. Cave Story and then uh, Philip, Felipe put it in as well. Thank you. There's also Hollow Knight. Yes, Hollow Knight is one that pretty much everyone knows. The doll and the baby squid hunters in Durasane. Yeah, kind of like an Easter egg. Hellpoint and Solemn Sanctuary were also fun to you, but they could be a little bit sloppy. Las Vegas says, since you moved to two-handing, you can't go back to using shields. The sheer power of whacking stuff dead. Astral Chain, another AC game, Ace Combat. <laughs> Ace Combat needs another. Love those games. They have more of a rush than the racing games for you. J King says, You don't know if anyone plays AC Valhalla, but they finally made it so you can catch all types of <laughs> and sizes of fish. Somebody. Please let me out of here. Somebody. Anybody. Help me. Unlock the door. Damn. I'm finished. How did this ever happen? I tend to forget about this one. Messing with my camera angles. If you like Metroidvanias and you like those setting Atmosphere of Soul games, you always recommend Blasphemous. Yeah, everyone's telling me to play Blasphemous. I need to look into it. I need one of you guys to like drop a trailer into my Discord or something. Otherwise, I just tend to forget between uh, finishing up stream and uh, working on other things. Blue Mew says, The Last Faith will be the next one. Not sure if it'll be as well put together as Blasphemous, though. Don't pick Blasphemous if you don't enjoy a game that goes balls and gore and religious themes. 
Las Vegas says, oh my god, you almost, or you, I almost forgot this powerful wizard was nearly defeated by a locked door. <laughs> it, it's, it's the nature of going hollow. You forget your friends and family and uh, how doorknobs turn, I guess. Barrels have spell dampening effects, apparently. Professor Gomez says Blasphemous is another good game in that genre. Was it weird to learn to read out loud when you're streaming? Uh, I don't know. Uh, to me, like, the hard part is reading out loud accurately and not, like, having acute dyslexia screw me up or reading things the wrong way at times. So it is a different kind of skill. I, I don't... Oh, damn it, I totally forgot. I was going to try to, like, put my tablet that I forgot that I owned right next to, like, my monitor so I could try to read chat better as I played. I felt like I was forgetting something today, and that's probably what it was. <laughs> oh, well. John Doe, welcome in. He said, balls and gore and religious themes. Uh, Tip is a fan for is a fan of... TLP is a fan of Bloodborne. Okay, talking about me. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Talk to Griggs. Brilliant. You opened the door for me. Thank you. I'm saved. I thought I might never escape. I am Griggs of Vinheim. A sorcerer of the school. I am much obliged for your assistance. Thanks to you, I may now resume my travels. Oh, hello. I'm fine. I will rest a while, then return to Firelink Shrine. I have my sorcery. And I will be more cautious next. Ah! Ah! Curses, you, you leave me no choice. You aren't yourself anymore. Forgive me. All right, so I guess a lot of the NPCs don't have um, killing dialogue in this game. <laughs> Elder says, was the Hudless run a big reason why you don't want to try spells? Uh, yes. By yes, I mean no, but that's my reason from now on. No, I mean, the part of the reason why I didn't want to do the Hudless run on this was just because, or not the Hudless run, but the... Uh, didn't want to go with the spell cast run is because I have no idea how it's supposed to play whatsoever. And so I didn't really like want to go through the trouble of trying to like relearn how to play the game completely over from scratch. And I just want to be able to pro progress when I can. I mean, obviously like I'll still even screw up with like the OP as crap as Vihander. But uh... It probably would have been much, much worse had I been doing like the spell stuff. And I guess like the HUDless portion I didn't even think about in relation to what it takes to cast the spells. So that's probably an, a good reason to not do it either. That I'll probably have to steal from now on. So we'll get our aggro sorcerer boy again. Leap says, you think it's more that Blasphemous is explicitly about Christian martyrdom? So people could be a bit more iffy compared to Bloodborne, which is Christian based, but not as explicitly. J. King says, dude is like the monsters and signs, interstellar space species defeated by closet door and water. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the ending of signs. How disappointing, really. Bonk. Bonk. Oh, how could this? Get the sorcerer set. Catalyst. Oh, that's from the corpse inside the barrel. From him we get just humanity, hush, and the slumbering dragon crest of the ring. So we've got a lot to read before we uh, reload the save here. Uh, the sorcerer's set and the catalyst. Sleep says you can't honestly tell if the game criticizes or glorifies it. It just seems to be what the reality of the world is. They're both equally a fictional religion. They just live in the bleak world that's all about suffering and guilt, you guess. Merc says, you wish magic was better outside of Demon Souls and Bloodborne? It feels so nerfed in all the Souls games. I, I, I feel like most of the community would say it's the opposite way around, at least between Dark Souls and Bloodborne, that, uh, that the magic is much better in like the Dark Souls games compared to Bloodborne, more specifically. 
Elder says, you don't have to be completely spellcaster, you can use them to buff, or you have the quality of life improvements like healing and homeward porting. Yeah, I mean, I might eventually go uh, invest some points into, like, faith to get, maybe not power within, that's what I would normally get with the HUD, but, uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Bleep's main issue is that magic is boring too often. You don't find that it makes for a playstyle with much depth. We've had uh, heard arguments that the aliens and signs are rather demons. Magic can be be as powerful but restricted. Yeah, I feel like while some of the spells are really good in Bloodborne, it is too restricting, and you really, really have to know what you're doing to actually like make it work. Why would aliens allergic to water run around Earth naked? Yeah, it's a good question. Why would any aliens like invade a planet naked instead of like having some kind of suit? But I digress. Uh, this is a sorcery catalyst used by the sorcerers of Vinheim Dragon School. Equip catalyst to use sorceries. Attune sorceries from a scroll at a bonfire. Most sorceries have a limited number of uses. Let's check out the set here. Hat worn by proper sorcerers who studied at the Vinheim Dragon School. The majority take pride in having studied at the academy and look down on breaking the formal dress code established for sorcerers. So that's uh, all the same there. I, I didn't ever read the elite stuff. Helm of a nameless knight, perhaps an elite knight of Astora. Although he was loath to give up on his undead mission, he perished at the undead asylum and went hollow. It's kind of weird. Is this supposed to be Oscar's set? Because it talks about the undead asylum. It's kind of weird that you'd get it in the Dark Root Garden, though. Oh, well, what do I... I don't know. There might be something in the DLC that explains it a bit more. I don't remember. Slumbering Dragon Crest Ring? This ring was secretly worn by a certain surreptitious sorcerer at Vinheim Dragon School. The ring is engraved with an everlasting dragon in silent slumber and masks all sound emitting from its wearer. Oh, this is actually pretty good. It's, it'll be better than the Witch's Ring, at least. Oh, well, I I'm, can't use it because I'm going to just revive our, our boy in a moment here anyway. So, uh, this is what he was, the spell we picked up from him. Sorcery developed by a certain surreptitious sorcerer at Vinheim Dragon School masks all noises of caster. Effectively, Vinheim is controlled by the Dragon School, and it is no wonder that the town has its share of dark secrets. So perhaps Griggs of Vinheim is a bit of one of those surreptitious, unsavory characters. At least with uh, Dark Souls 3, it's fleshed out a bit more with um, Orbeck being kind of an assassin as well. Like he, he wears the assassin set, I think, if I remember correctly. And at least uh, he was affiliated with Londor, so it's a little bit curious that uh, Griggs has all this stuff as well, because he seems pretty harmless, considering he was bested by a locked door in a room filled with barrels. <laughs> okay. So that was that, and then we'll uh, load back out. I did hit record today, right? Yes, okay. The wave of panic. <laughs> Aliens might not have the concept of being nude. It's kind of uh, crazy to think of uh, conquering space and doing it in the nude, I suppose, though. Magic and Souls is available but underwhelming. Basically, spells in Bloodborne are tools, not your main weapons. Dwarf Show, welcome back. You said, just enhance your weapon with an element and suddenly scales with arcane. That's all you really need to know about how to make arcane work. Uh, Blue Mew likes Lovecraft's approach to aliens. They're alien. We keep applying human concepts to them. J King says Dark Bead is literally cheat mode. It just takes the casters a while to get set up. If you don't know how you design a wizard character that's not boring, Lovecraft aren't quite just aliens. Uh, Bobbin, welcome back to the stream. He said, Hey guys, how are you? I'm doing pretty well. Uh, having some good time getting killed and killing NPCs. Blumi says, you're aware in the occult they do have human relations, as said above, and by Crowley, aliens are demons. We get the sorcery set from this dude here. Brilliant. You opened the door for me. Thank you. I'm saved. I thought I might never escape. I am Griggs of Vinheim, a sorcerer of the school. I am much obliged for your assistance. Thanks to you, I may now resume my travels. Oh, hello. I'm fine. I will rest a while, then return to Firelink Shrine. I have my sorcery. 
and I will be more cautious next time. Besides, I have an important task at hand. Oh, hello. I'm fine. I have best. All right. So he'll show up to Firelink later on. Maybe Lawcheck will be there as well. I tend to forget, like, coming over here actually has stuff a little bit. Uh, it always seemed to me like there should have been more over here, and we just never got it. Oh, we almost died. Oh, I didn't even reinforce the Estus. Okay, it's whatever. Twin Humanities. I think this is it. Okay. And then up ahead, we'll uh, go into the area with like the Capra Demon and all that. Elder said, now imagine starting a game not knowing you can aim so you thought spells were stupid and you fought skellies with a dagger and a nightgown. Bleep says, the Elder Gods are not fully physical. They only have a physical body when the cosmos align. Most of the time, they're only a spiritual slash dreamlike presence. They're the midway between aliens and gods. I feel like, yeah, that's kind of an easier way to say it. Like a midway between aliens and gods. Like, they're gods, but, like, their mentality is completely foreign and therefore, like, alien to humans. Not to say that there even is a relation between, like, those kind of gods and humans, but... Uh, you don't think the Elder Gods have technology? They just have greater knowledge and control over re reality to a degree? I, I feel like that's probably a good way of saying it, yeah. They are, in basic definition, not of this world, just how far beyond us is the biggest factor. I agree, Blue Mew. Uh, you never say spiritual as Lovecraft was entirely against religions and spirituality. He only used it in his stories in relation to madmen's madmen worshipping them. J. King said, You honestly think the most interesting characters in Souls is Strayed? Not for him, but because uh, he implies untold, unknown kingdoms. Yeah, I know what you mean about that. Hopefully you guys don't hear the neighbor's angle grinder coming in through the mic. Um, Felipe says, You just mean in the sense that the Elder Gods are not physical beings, at least most of the time. That's why they almost always sleep. They need to, the cosmos to be just right above to have access to the material form. Blue Mew says, Aleister Crowley actually wrote Lovecraft, praising him and his imagination, said his dreams were inspired. You wonder how he took that, lol. Blue says, even their dreams have powers? Lovecraft was a guy with very creative ways to voice his issues. But when you boil down what his fears were, it's not pretty. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of true for like a lot of creative types, but she's uh, definitely problematic for fairly obvious reasons. Robin says, so is he sent to kill Logan or just to spy on him? Uh, it seems like Griggs left of his own accord, maybe because he wanted to learn more about Logan. I don't think he's really an actual assassin, but yeah, I don't know. So as we come in through this area, we'll get ambushed by these uh, hollows. And these ones uh, seem to have their stuff a bit more together than the others. Uh, their movements are much more coordinated and they have like better equipment so they, they seem to be somewhat lucid in that they're trying to uh, probably pillage our souls from us and when we like go in these houses I'm pretty sure there's only like just this one treasure I don't think the others have anything I might be misremembering though get the mail breaker read that I think it's pretty generic though, but at least we'll double check it. But that's just like reflection of blood, I guess. Interesting. There's a dude behind the wall. Not dogs. Oh damn it. What 
am I stuck on? Oh, stairs. Too slow. That's kind of why it's uh, nice and cheap to have shields, because you can just uh, have the uh, recoil lead into a, a follow-up attack. Catch up with you guys. Well, you believe they can be both, as everything except uh, Azathoth is part of its dream. You wonder at what point did sorcerers forget that Seath is the dragon, so iconic in Vindheim parables and symbolism? You know, I never even thought about, like, that aspect of it. Oh, we get the, the thief set here. That's how we kind of realize that these dudes are thieves. Although it's kind of... I, I guess I won't say, like, kind of obvious, but... It's only obvious once you like get the set and see what they're actually wearing. Um, so yeah, what I, I was saying about like the, the Seath stuff. Yeah, I never thought about like the actual Vinheim school being around during the time of Seath. It wasn't until I was playing uh, Dark Souls Three again that I was like, wait a second, Vinheim is in like the thing that Rickard was part of. I didn't remember that uh, Vinheim was such a thing in Dark Souls One, although. I guess that's kind of a silly thing, because just, like, even in Dark Souls 1, they're, like, talking about all these, like, dragons and dragon schools, so it's, like, why were they worshipping worshiping them or, like, studying them to begin with? It's, it's something I just didn't think about. That's a cool idea, though. Uh, one can consider knowledge and technique technology. J. King says, didn't that Crowley guy literally eat poop? <laughs> Katie says, you're sad to say that we, that we hear and you were about to ask why is there a UFO outside your house? Bobbin says, reminds you of your neighborhood, LMAO. Leap says, you guess, in a strange way, you don't find the Elder God scary? You don't really share that fear of things that you can't understand. Sure, they may be a threat, but they might be... Even Bloodborne kind of goes in route where some of the horrors people, despite the cosmic shenanigans, and the Great Ones end up kind of sympathetic at times. Stephen says, sword no slash, sword only smash, pretty much. Baking says, the movie 1408 is what you imagine it would be like to have an Eldritch Horror screen with you. Yeah, a lot of Stephen King stuff does a really good job of, like, bringing a kind of cosmic horror to the mainstream. So this is our Capra Demon. I didn't really remember that this is the actual room for it. So this is the Pro Strat. Uh, go up the stairs. And then wait for the dogs. And by Prostrad, I mean almost die in the process, obviously. <sighs> I unlocked and that hurt me. It's gonna punish me. Ooh, we got lucky. I thought I'd be able to, like, stun him. Okay. It's two hits. Don't die. Oh, okay, that goes over the shield. It's been a while. Oh, he got me. I couldn't do anything. Couldn't roll away. So this is the Capra Demon that... Was it Solaire talking about? Or was it... Who talked about the Capra Demon? It might have been the Crestfallen Knight. Or was it the Undead Merchant? Why am I going up this way? It's, it's all good, though. Died to the Capra Demon. Uh, not too bad. It, it happens, obviously. Still selfish entities looking for their own goals without much care for the others. The Hollow Thieves actually have their own armor. Oh, so, oh yeah, I didn't even read all that stuff. Picked it up. Sorry, and then I just totally ignored your message. <laughs> so, uh, like, what's it? Stream of consciousness <laughs> right here. The Hollow Thieves actually have their own armor set distinct from the regular Thief set. You can farm for it? Okay. I didn't realize that. Interesting. You think there's a visceral fear? One that affects your very being and mind, so it's beyond fear to madness? That is, slash, would be the most terrifying thing. Boss says, those damn dogs hate this boss. You always cheese them with the bombs. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess we could use the bombs, but I just need to not play terribly, obviously. 
Okay, it is the Undead Merchant. So this is a mask of sinners. They hide their faces, stifle their voices, and hide in the shadows. It does not provide much in the way of defense. Uh, I think all the other ones are going to say pretty much the same thing. This armor made of smooth black leather is extremely quiet, a good thing for those who hide in the shadows. The leather itself is thick, offering a decent level of protection. Okay. Was there something else? The mail breaker. Standard small thrusting sword. Unsharpened but pointed solid shaft can pierce through tough armor. Can be thrust using the weight of one's body and is very effective for critical attacks. Mm. Okay, I think I read everything. No, I never read the halberd. Long hilted weapon mixing spear and axe is difficult to handle, requiring both strength and dexterity. The halberd has two elementary attacks spear like thrusting and large sweeping swings. However, one false swing and the wielder is left wide open. Should be good. Round wooden shield, cracked and nearly broken. Wood shields are lighter than metal shields, but this one has lower physical damage reduction stability, partly due to cracking. Oh, and then the target shield. This we got from the um, the thief set. Corpse. Small round metal shield, four protrusions used to parry attacks. Small shields are always less stable, but landing critical hits after parrying is easier. This shield is specialized for parrying. I think that's everything. Did I ever read this? Yeah, I did. Should be good now. Oh, that did not track at all. Crestfall, anything mentioned in Capra? Capra gets another. You'd say this is one of the cases where the game is just cheap. Eh, kind of. Um, it's kind of funny because you can fight like a bunch of the Capra demons later on when you go to the ruins of Isolith. And uh, he's really not so tough when you actually have a little bit of space to work with. Also, at that point in the game, I'll be like leveled up enough where I can just uh, stagger him repeatedly. Wender says, regarding dragons, there's a lot of ties to them in magic, hence why Vinheim has dragon symbolism in your opinion. Dragons and great ones probably follow a similar archetype too. Ooh, I caught that guy out of the corner of my eye. Well, he still got me. Annoying. Philip says, it makes sense that creatures of high intelligence that live so much longer than humans can reach much higher levels of knowledge. Uh, though that's only on an individual level, as vacillations, humans gain a lot of knowledge. Too slow with that. There's our next dog, and then I'll probably YOLO it to the boss. That might be a bad idea, but we'll try it. Who knows? Yeah, iframes. can't see. Got me, of course. That's annoying. Alright, alright. So I definitely a thousand percent need to roll when he jumps. I don't think I had enough time for the first jump, though. <laughs> Philippe said civilizations. Yeah, that, I, I could it's not making much sense of that. I was trying to figure it out, but I'm like... How did that miss all of them? Okay. This dude's really trying to shoot me through the 
windows. Here we go. Alright. Tetzel, welcome back to the stream. Alright, Philippa saying, As civilizations, human gain, not, gain lots of knowledge. Lumi then said, They also follow the same concept of growth in relation to longevity. We don't see it much now, but plants and animals that live long grow larger. Animals eventually reach a full size, plants and fungi do not. This believed humans do too, thus giants being larger due to the water canopy that once existed. As long as they live, plants will grow. Effervescent says you may be better off opening the sewer shortcut to the depths below the Capra Demon entrance. Shortcut back to Firelink. Uh, you can see that myth making sense in older times. You wasted two months of constant studying to get two fat Fs, damn man, both in physics and math. Uh, sorry, Tetsu. That sucks. Oh. Let me get killed here. Did the questions take you by surprise? You studied something in the book and under the professor you got something else in the test. Freaking bullcrap. Speaking of bullcrap, there goes all of our souls. Probably wasted too much time and probably should not have been looking at chat. <laughs> but that's what happens. It's all, it's all, it's all good though. Are you? Do you know um, if it caught others in your class by surprise too? Is it, especially if you're going to your professor during like their office hours and still failed, that'd be really crappy. Oh, he lived, and then we got shot. Okay, of course. A lot of knowledge requires more knowledge to be understood. It's true. Effervescent says, that's why you changed your major in university from physics to philosophy. You were good at math in high school, but university math is a different story. You were also in a bad university and that went to a better one. It's hard to conceive without the right conditions for it. Even worse, you somehow got a D in computer and coding despite a guaranteed B or A. So the computer branch of the university is closed. You're so screwed now. A lot of people got screwed, half your class got Fs. That's such garbage, like, between everything with Corona and... I mean, what else really needs to be said? It seems like just the roll stab is the, the go-to move with these damn dogs. Half the class, that's crazy. It is crazy, but I mean... Unfortunately, and I, I absolutely hate this, it's not... Oh, damn. That's cool. Um, it's not completely, like, unheard of. Not that that excuses things by any means. Alright, let's actually try to YOLO YOLO. I was wondering if that was a mistake. Bro, oh, go up the stairs, you idiot. <laughs> this is the most trouble I've had with the Capper Demon in a while, actually.
You love those assassins? That animation's so, so good. Yeah, that animation's really smooth. It's unfortunate that, like, the player doesn't get access to stuff like that at times. Elder says, makes you feel better, Tetsu. You got a letter from your bank saying that your old college is garnishing 1300 from your wages out of the blue yesterday. So, uh, they're taking his money directly from his bank, is what he's saying. It reminded of a common thing that irks you in games. It just seems like people don't really know how to make non humanoid seem smart. Damn it. This is not how I wanted it. McMyers, welcome in. Oi, oi. Elta said your college gets your pay text till it equals about 1300. Professor Gomez says you apologize for all the dog lovers out here. Uh-oh. But why did Mia make dogs so damn annoying in this game? You hate the dogs in the Souls games. Yeah, the point when the dogs are way more deadly than the humanoid monsters half the time. It's just because they're they've actually got good mobility. They're like one of the very, very few uh, enemies that do. All right, let's not get ambushed. I should have rolled into the attack. Oh god! Oh no! 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 I should have. Uh, well, we are screwed. At least picked up the souls. Alright, so I think I could. I, I should have initially rolled and then um, R1 to kill the dogs. But then we just got ping ponged a little bit. Peach bald. Your metaphor of choice. Done dealing with that, that crap. This might be a mistake just because the dogs might slow me down. Hey, where's the third one? Why is it over there? Let's kill this this time. Leap says Bloodborne's a pretty big example of when the great ones like Amdal and Ebriatus fighting style boil down to angry flailing. Wonder says video game standard is a souls on self game enjoyer, you just like dogs now too. <laughs> Second Pro is probably the only souls like where the dogs aren't much threat. Damn it. Oh, this crap. Tetsu's gotta go, a lot of stuff's happened. Yeah, sorry to hear that, Tetsu. Hopefully we'll uh, see you again in the future. Oh, come on, not this rolling mechanic. I'm 
<laughs> it was not rolling in the direction I was pointing. So I think I, I just need to like fully unlock then. Okay. Damn, they can catch up really quickly. I'm scared. <laughs> oh no, that's not good. That's not good. Long suckers. Let go of that too soon. Where's our Capra? Alright. Alright, we should get this now. So every two hits will stun him. As long as he doesn't jump like a jerk. Will that hurt? Does the jump? Uh oh, bad timing. I figured he probably didn't have a lot of hits with this by hander. Wait, what? That's that's actually really really funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just straight up assassinated right there. Okay. Well, let's go get our, our damn souls back. Probably should have killed the dude that's going to chase me. Oh, it lived? So now we should have a little time to read chat. Uh, Nix what I said about the souls, guys. Looks like we've got another highlight reel in the making. Oh, yo, 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 yo. I didn't even do that on purpose. Like, if I was smart, I would have done that on purpose. But <laughs> just for the content. Uh... <laughs> I'm a little salty right now. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let me catch up with you guys. Uh, Professor Gomez says, check the weight. You think you're rolling too slow? I think we're fine. Let me... No, we should be good. Uh, Bjarki says, you feel it's easy to get back to the capper by going from the fire link through the tunnel? Less annoying enemies, yeah. Tetsu's gotta go. A lot of stuff happened. Yep. Long bone check through. Good luck and farewell, Tetsu. Bjarki's right. If you started talking about them, you would never stop. Have a good one, fellas. Uh, thank you, Tetsu. I mean, you're probably gone by this point, but uh, I hope things eventually work out for you. Sometimes setbacks on the road of life can lead to uh, greater glory, I guess. But with that being said, it, it doesn't really make, take the sting out of things.
that rolling you don't know eight directional rolling isn't so bad in your opinion no i mean the the rolling is, is fine it's just because like when you lock onto something it seems to roll you in relation to that irrespective of where your camera is pointing so that screwed me up on the one death um because I, I was like locked onto the dog and then trying to roll to my characters right but it's just like rolled me backwards into the capra demon which is uh definitely not what i wanted so we got the key to the depths i think from the capra demon we got twin humanities and i think there was something else but uh our, our stealthy assassin boy distracted the hell out of me <laughs> so i don't remember what the third item was maybe it was just souls heal up. Christian said, you hate the Capra Demon, you never even attempted to beat him without the upstairs block, plunging attack, and repeat strat. This just says you'll just watch the next couple of tents and leave, don't mind you. Well, only you could cut the Capra's tail off, that'd be cool. The thief stole that victory. Yeah, I like totally let my guard down and just, I honestly didn't know that like the thieves would uh, steal victory from me, but I mean, certainly true to their names, holy crap. I couldn't have planned that out if I tried. <laughs> Alright. So nothing in there. Oh yeah, we already checked all these houses, didn't we? Yeah. Failed to pick up our damn souls. I forget the dog spawn in still. So this is the uh, quote-unquote arena. It's so damn small, like it's 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 a combination between not having space to fight the Capra Demon and then also having to fight the camera when stuff like this happens. So, uh, like the Capra Demon itself isn't like too bad of a fight. It's really just like a lot of the arena and the dogs obviously like a real pain in the ass. But all right, so I was thinking of this guy originally. Not trying to kick. Go for the dead zone. Hey, we got a bandit's knife. Check that out. And, and we should also read the um, key description. Professor Goma says, the end of the, your Capra Demon fight was like, welcome to Dark Souls, mate. It's funny as hell. Thank you for the entertainment. <laughs> uh, still, I mean, part of me as a gamer is just salty and as like a, a content creator. I'm like kind of glad that it just pooped the bed essentially, but man, that that is definitely a welcome to Dark Souls moment there. <laughs> Easy to talk crap when there's a fall wall between you. Yeah, I think I did taunt them too beforehand, didn't I? Gravity, prepare for further pain. Yeah. Uh, Saturn, welcome back in. Uh, sorry, I kind of missed your messages there. The assassin pulled a, you thought they were the boss, but it was really me, Dio. Uh, Tessa says, what's the red ring that you have? If you're talking about the aura, it's from the blue tearstone ring. The This one is the old witch's ring. It's one of the uh, starting items one can choose. What was I doing? Oh, yeah. When you die in 2 3 hits, you really notice issues with the controls. Yeah. Lumi says, This is why you're glad you have skill you can develop without acquiring huge debt. Oh, I thought you were talking about the game skill. I'm like, damn, throw it in my face, why don't you? Yeah. Tetsu said, All you needed to hear, thanks. Now you're going for real. Okay. And once again, thank you for dropping by, Tetsu. And uh, hopefully there'll be some more sunny days in your future. You can snipe the capper with the toxic poo poo. You know what that smiley face is? You're clueless on the one. Sleep says, forget the Drake Sword, the Zweihander is the weapon that carries you through the early game. I mean, the Zweihander, the Drake Sword, they both carry early game, but Zweihander scales throughout the entire game, though. 
Blue Moose says, you've never seen that before, but it was perfect. Keep up the good yeets. <laughs> so long, suckers. LP two minutes before getting backstabbed by a knife boy. Yeah. Hubris. <laughs> it gets us all in the strangest of ways. So this is the bandit's knife. Uh, this wide sin single-edged so short sword. Wow. This wide single-edged short sword is the favorite of lowly thieves and bandits. Primarily a slicing weapon, but highly effective when used for critical hits, such as after parrying or from behind. Tell me about it, man. Actually, I wonder if this would change, like, the backstab animation. I doubt it, but that'd be super cool, though. Oh, I actually never noticed there's a, a no poop uh, a critical stat. This has crazy amounts of bleed, so that's actually not really a bad weapon. I mean, I don't know how this scaling really works, though. The guys are talking about going to Firelink. Oh yeah, and then we have the uh, key over here. Already soul of a lost undead. So, as you guys were mentioning, this is the shortcut to Firelink. I just wasn't expecting to die so often. That's what I get, I suppose. Key opening the door from the lower undead berg to the depths. Those banished from the undead berg eke out their existence in the depths, a damp lair with no trace of sunlight. Nearly half of the depths form a perilous flooded labyrinth. So now we can go back to Firelink, talk to our buddy Griggs, whom we rescued, as well as Lawtrek. Of course, there's nothing up there. I guess one of the benefits of going through the... Um, Darkroot Garden now would be to get the key to the, the tower so you could just kind of skip through the depths portion of the game and just access Blight Town from the other back portion, I guess. I, I digress, just kind of thinking random thoughts. So that we get our next undead merchant, a uh, lady. You still have your senses about you. Then why won't you buy some of my moss? I need your souls. <laughs> this is a wonderful place, don't you think? We have water, moss, moisture, these nice iron bars. I like it here, I really do. Nothing good ever happened to me in life. But now that I'm undead, I've never been happier. So at least for some people, going undead isn't the worst thing that's happened to them, I guess. You've come to this land. There were nothing but hollows in these. You're undead. Ah, <laughs> uh, I think I screwed that up. Go down along the side to reach the depths of the undead berg. Only unkempt crooks and liars to be found there. Hardly a place for a lady like myself. But who knows? Maybe you'd fit right in. <laughs> You've come to this land at a bad okay. time. There were nothing but hollows in these parts. Save for me, of course. You're undead too, aren't you? You be careful then. <laughs> right, so um, in addition to like the player and the other undead merchant, we do see other examples of people being like Pretty damn close to hollowing, but they are still sentient. So there is um, some consistency in that, like, even if the player loses all of their souls, that might not necessarily be the end of them, as long as you have, like, the willpower to persevere. And so the same might apply to these kinds of merchants as well. So uh, as she says, she sells us these mosses, which are going to be very useful for going into Blight Town. Uh... Probably should buy some things, but I kind of don't want to. So she sells the transient curses and the purging stones. I think hers are a lot more expensive. Maybe not, though. Um, in the original, like, unpatched version of Dark Souls, she didn't sell the purging stones, but they added them in just... They added them in in a later patch to make it a bit easier to deal with getting, like, uh, cursed down in the sewers of the depths. Which I might show off, but I don't know. 
think I might just want to hold on to my souls for now and try to level up. Drat. What a humdrum lad you are. I do like that they do have like special dialogue for if you don't buy things from them. And so from coming uh, from that lady this direction, we will get to that one gate that we saw when we first were going to the Undead Burg. And at the end of this uh, tunnel, there will be a rat. So I actually ran past the like little door to the Burg. Oh, it wasn't actually locked down. Weird, okay. Just trying to loot the body. <laughs> Knew that one was coming. Better heal before I die to some random hollows. Alright. Let's go back to Firelink and uh, catch up with everybody. Okay, I saw Lachek. His uh, golden or brass armor, whatever it is. Effervescent said, You actually just finished transcribing the heart part of a Souls of Fire to standard tuning for electric guitar. You're working on a metal cover slash adaptation of sorts. You've only seen acoustic covers on YouTube, and the acoustic covers use strange tuning. Bloom, you ask if you're putting it online. Uh, Dan, the depths are populated by hobos banished from the slums. Talk about Max downtrodden. Leap says, it's kind of funny how the depths is not really that deep compared to the rest of the game. It, it's it's the depths in relation to the settlement. But yeah. Best waifu in Dark Souls. Uh, James Curie, welcome to the stream. How's everyone doing? I'm doing pretty well. Uh, just uh, got stabbed in the back by an assassin after killing the Cadver Demon and then lost all my souls. So, doing pretty well. How about yourself? And Manny Stagall, welcome back in. Uh, howdy, finally on the beginning-ish of the stream. Blessed for be the night bot. Okay. Uh, Mick says, bro, you just beat Lawrence. He was damn hard. You found him more difficult than Ludwig and the Orphan. Beast Rude makes you beautiful, so you'd say it was worth the effort. Yeah. I feel like playing through Bloodborne again, Lawrence is the boss in the DLC that gives me the most trouble in subsequent playthroughs. But um, Ludwig was my real first hurdle to the DLC, and I died to him way more than the Orphan of Cost my first time through. Loop says, it was really meant to not have anything to carry a curse near to the depths. Didn't curse used to stack? I don't remember. Elda says, it's the sewers of the slums of heaven. It has a ways to go to hit the world's black nadir. nadir. Oh yeah, I was going to try to level up. Okay, can't do it. Oh, let's just use one of these. Let's go with some more endurance. And let's change our equipment to look cinematic. <laughs> And then save scum. Koba says curse did stack in 1.0. Okay. Yeah, so the game was like super punishing in 1.0. Um, I think that you got less souls overall, although I might be misremembering that. Bobbin asks, how much did it stack?
Leap says, maybe the idea was that once cursed, the players would visit New Londo. Yeah, I mean, that is kind of what the idea was, but it would take a long time to get there. Just because uh, you didn't really have the transient curses. It didn't, like, really work out well. Because the transient curses are also ridiculously expensive. Let's talk to our friend here. Put a decent angle. So I have to do, I suppose. Oh, hello. I regret meeting you under such compromising circumstances. At least we both made it back unscathed. Did you see them? The three young clerics headed for the catacombs to seek kindling. Okay. Kindling is the art of feeding bonfires. The poor young girl sent down into a tomb. What a terrible mission she is burdened with. Oh, hello. Terrific to see us both in one piece. And pray that you never go hollow. So I wonder if this is supposed to be a hint to go down there now, which doesn't make sense, but eh. Oh, hello. Terrific to see us both in one piece. And pray that you never go hollow. Okay. Let's talk to uh, the way of white folk. Feels so damn slow and fat. Interesting. So that actually takes it off. Okay. James said, you had the exact same experience as you in the Bloodborne DLC. Orphan is probably your favorite Soulsborne fight ever. Uh, Mick says, you into movies? Are you talking to me or just a uh, chat in general? Loop said, you do get the tips that someone in New Londo can cure you and you can attack ghosts. Normal curse can also attack ghosts, you think? But they are that much deadlier and with half health. I didn't realize that. I thought you actually had to have the transient curse to hit the ghosts. Also, the NPC you find doesn't help that much as the spell is expensive and consumes humanity. Yeah. Elda says, at least the ghost drop transient curses. Also, you, I don't think you read the transient curse description. No, I, I haven't, but I also haven't picked one up yet. Bobbin says, you can barely get through New Londo ruins with a full health bar. Boba says, you don't know how much is stacked, but it was pretty broken. Elda says, when encountering Hollow Crestfallen, he took you by surprise and scared the crap out of you. Oh, hello. My guests have finally arrived. I will be departing with them shortly. So... I'm afraid I will be saying goodbye soon. It was a pleasure. Uh, Mick says you're talking to me with the, the movies. I don't know, like, uh, I do like movies, but it's a bit weirder as I've gotten older. It's kind of harder for me to keep my attention focused on movies for whatever reason. Um, it feels like I should be doing more or, like, multitasking while I watch them, so it's harder. For me to watch movies now that I'm older than I was when I was younger, which is a bit weird. Because, I mean, I'm doing this and, like, well, I guess there is kind of, like, the multitasking aspect to it, especially with streaming, but... Yeah, I also don't play, like, a lot of games off-stream anymore now that I think about it, but... <laughs> I do like movies, to just answer the question plainly. Elda says, yeah, if you're cursed, you can kill the ghost that's neato. Okay, sweet. So that's why you have a theory you were meant to search for the sealer in New Londo after being cursed. The upper floor of the area would be doable even at this point of the game. Katie says, speaking of purging stones, in one of the previous streams we talked about the Earl of Kareem, and the one thing that you said his title was something different in Japanese. So I would need to double check that as well, because I, I don't remember, I mean it essentially means Duke or Earl, but I don't remember how the peerage system really works in English, and that's like when, the other day when I said, like, I know what I don't know, and when I was talking about, like, learning Japanese, like, this is, like, one of those things where, like, I know that they're talking about nobility to some degree, but I, I have no idea what they're, like, the, they're actually saying with the specifics of, like, what rank is what and how that ties in. So I don't remember if the Earl of Kareem uses the same title as Seath, essentially. But, yeah, I don't know. Uh, remind me to try to look at that later, and I'll, I'll, I'll try to rem remember. Leap says, if he cured you for free, maybe that would have made up for having to find him. Yeah. Bobbin says, it's kind of strange how some NPCs can look perfectly normal, and then the second they go all hollow, they look like a corpse. Well, some look like corpses, but are relatively sane. Oh, hello. Miracles, I presume? Yes, I know.
An undead mission? Regrettable. I'm afraid that... So it looks like the amount of soul scales up with our level a little bit. We looked at all of that. Okay. Come again. The effectiveness of the teachings depend upon your faith. You can tell I'm fat walking even. That's kind of funny. Kind of reminds me of Horace. So I wonder if that's supposed to be like a different language or just him like being delirious and obviously on the, the verge of hollowing. Which we'll find out a bit more of later on, I suppose. Hmm? What have we here? You look awfully raggedy. Times are grim. The least you can do is look sharp. Don't you dare meet my lady like that. You might scare her off for good. Oh, you again. What business have you? I don't suppose we can help, though. We accompany my lady on her righteous mission. It is quite a chore, but I'm stuck with her. And Nico, too. I can't very well abandon them now. Oh, it's you. We're to leave momentarily. The catacombs aren't exactly my idea of a good time, but what can one do? I do hope we meet again. Rarely or not. So that uh, Varier Knox is something that people have looked into a lot. I looked at the Japanese line of that, and it's essentially just like, I'll let the flames guide thee. So. I wonder if that's supposed to be like the equivalent of Mbasa, but they just never <laughs> kept it going. <laughs> Katie says, Duke, same word as Shira describes herself when she says daughter of the Duke. There's also Duke Seldora, which could have been... A reference for Shira. Let me try to look it up, so... Who are we talking about? Our story of Kareem, right? Let me look at Shira's dialogue here. One moment. So it looks like for Shira's version of Duke specifically, uh, Koshaku would be uh, what they called Seath, and Duke Seldora in Dark Souls 2. So our story of Kareem, I, I need to look what he is. So one of the issues is um, they just call Arster Ko, and that could mean Duke, it could mean Prince, it could probably mean Earl. So it's a little bit difficult to say if um, it is him or not. And that's kind of one of the things that I need to like research more on my own. But just like taking at a, a, a quick glance at it, I, I, I'm not sure what the actual proper answer is all the way. Okay. Oh, I forgot what was saying. Uh, so the phrase Varier Knox is interesting. In Japanese, she says, uh, Ono no Michibikyo by the Flame's Guidance, which is uh, very similar to what Elizabeth says in Ulysseel. Anata ni Ono no Michibiki no Arankoto. Yeah. So, uh, no, I'll, I'll just leave the Japanese because you guys probably don't care about that. But yeah, overall, there are very uh, similar phrases. Uh, essentially, the exact same thing. If anything, um, Varier Knox, or what is this dude's name? Not Nico? Is this guy Nico? I don't remember. Oh, what he just said is pretty much just like a contracted version of what Elizabeth says. 
And uh, with Elizabeth's final lines there, uh, Michibiki no Aran Koto O, it's a bit more of like archaic style Japanese. Like uh, the equivalent would be like in English, we'd say like, may the force be with you. That's kind of what that idea is getting uh, across. So like may the flames, the guidance of the flames be with you would be like a more literal way of saying it. So like may the flames guide these is a bit more natural, I think. Elda said, did these guys come here after the Capra? It seems so, yes. Elda says, Earl and Duke are essentially the same level. Uh, Katie says, Duke, same word. Shira describes herself in the daughter of the Duke. Okay, this guy. <laughs> this game really makes you dislike clerics. Amik says, is Kareem not a derivative of Karim, which means a servant of God? Pretty sure it's either Arabic or Hebrew. Interesting, I don't know. It's funny Thurland has a fat guy armor. You guess he's not all bad, but they're really arrogant. Uba says, what sucks about Ingvard is that he only goes to Firelink after he beat the Four Kings. It would have been much better if he at least did that after you open the gates. Same with Patches only showing up after you beat Nito. Okay. Uh, Jesus Christus, welcome back. You said, here we go again, let's go. Yeah, boy. Uh, Phobus said, you giving, giving you information about NPCs that are likely already dead by that time? Yeah. Emlyn, welcome back. A professor said, because Ulysses said in the past, Elizabeth says it in the common tongue, whereas over time it became a dead language, much like Latin is today. Philip says, what does Ingvar teach or sell? He gives us the ability to uh, remove curses, and I don't remember everything that he sells, but he does sell purging stones. So, at least in the very first version of the game, like he was kind of the fastest point to get to the purging stones. Katie said, you thought about it because purging stones were everywhere in the Ring City, and they were probably part of the purging monument. You thought they might have been his treasure possession because they remind him of his daughter who was left there. Elda says, you go with Shira as his daughter, probably adopted. May the good flame guide thee. Fire speed, go with fire. Generally, they count bosses after certain checkpoints for NPC progress. Yeah. Vicky Vicky, welcome in. You said, it's weird because uh, purging stones are supposed to be a very hard thing to come by. And originally only Oswald sold them, but then uh, FromSoft patched it so that they're easy to find, you guess. So did Oswald sell them in 1.0? He might have. But I thought it was Ingvard that was the only one that did. But yeah, o Oswald's the other person where you get the uh, purging stones from. Which kind of makes sense with like his theme of like removing sins and all that. And Vicky said, it makes it contradict their description where it says they're a prized possession. A little bit, yeah. Philippe says, gameplay-wise, uh, the basilisks are in the depths are in great hollows. It's far too early in the game to require a really hard item to find a cure permanent status ailment. Yeah, I mean, that is essentially why they changed it, but uh, they could have done other things as well, like given us transient curses a bit earlier and made them not so damn expensive. But maybe they just didn't want people to go into New Londo so early, so early. I don't know, it's weird. Oh, it's you. We the catacombs aren't exactly very okay. nice. You are undead as well. Then we've no time to fraternize. I have my mission and you no doubt have yours. We must not let this curse overcome us. Oh. Curses! What the devil's wrong with you? I cannot overlook a threat to Malay. I'll grind you into dust! That's not cool. That rolling. And we're dead. Okay. Couldn't take up a good opportunity to, uh... Go aggro with all that dialogue going on. Elda said, Ingrid, you think just uncursed you rather than the soul of the stones to do it. Okay. You might be right. I thought he has purging stones too. That's a bad rule. 
Oh, because it's the overhand. Okay. Alright, I'll uh, switch out of the fat body suit. That is uh, mainly using for the footage. If curing had an easy method, purging stones would have uh, not have much value. It's a hard bargain. Yeah, I, I feel like it, it could... I mean, they could have done different things, essentially, but it's not the end of the world. Okay, now we should uh, be a bit better off. Not a ton, but just a little bit. Keep losing their dialogue. Hmm. To humanity from Petrus. So he's the only one that drops humanity, I guess, which is kind of cool. I wonder if she's still going to be aggro. We're just not close enough to her. She has seven humanity. Holy crap. The ivory talisman. Okay. One atrocity down. We Did we already talk to him? No, I don't think we did. Wait, yeah, we did. Oh, hello. Terrific to see us both in one piece. And pray that you never go hollow. I guess he doesn't oh, offer to teach us anything. Maybe because uh, it's too early or maybe I'm too dumb. Oh, hello. Terrific to see us both in one piece. And pray that you never go hollow. Damn, you've lost it, haven't you? Then I have no choice. Prepare yourself. Oh, that didn't look too cool. Oh. He tried to pull a tricky on me. Lots of uh, tragedies down. Wonder what this this guy's gonna say. Ah, your face. You're practically hollow. But who knows? Going hollow could solve quite a bit. <laughs> mm, what? Wrist work and a quick of it. What are you looking at? Don't try any- How's he rat? You have some nerve. I may be crestfallen, but I'm not defenseless, you rascal! You will soon regret this!
not too shabby. Not too shabby. I think you've done me a favor. Okay. McMyers says, why are you trying to slaughter the NPCs? Just one for the footage and uh, to see like what their killing and or death dialogue is. Slipping, but there are methods. Most fools have more <laughs> humanity than they know what to do with. Now, who do you imagine will make the best use of it? Mm -hmm. hmm. You again. What is it? Our futures are murky. Let's not be too friendly now. You leave me no choice. I was once grateful to you. But if this is our fate, so be it. You despicable curses. How could I? So we got the sunlight metal from him, which we didn't have before. He obviously still can't speak. So let's check out our sunlight metal. And I don't think we picked up anything else too important. So this faintly warm metal engraved with the symbol of the sun is the ultimate honor awarded to those who summon the warrior of sunlight and complete a goal. The symbol represents Lord Gwyn's firstborn, who lost his deity status and was expunged from the annals. But the old god of war still watches closely over his warriors. So uh, that does set up that there is a kind of a firstborn to Gwyn, and it's <laughs> he's lost the annals, but this one is uh, more correct and says that he was expunged from them instead. And uh, it's a covenant which we can join later on as well. So anything else? No. Hush, bandit's knife. Right, yeah, I think that's everything then. Because we've looked at all the other stuff. Okay. So we'll uh, load back out and then uh, talk to them all normal style. Alright, and then I'll, I'll catch up with you guys. Claire Gratz. Katie says, Milady is threatened. Lethal force engaged. Alex, welcome to the stream again. Uh, Mick says, Why are you trying to slaughter the NPCs? I, I already read that and said why. Manny says, What shield do the other clerics have? You don't recognize them? I need to look at them again. Sleep says, You think the Dark Souls 2 handled the balance a bit better by making Curse a gradual status ailment that increased with each death and petrification was separate in, into its own element? But even then, you're not a fan of punishing bad players by making the game harder. Bobbin says, It looks like the Kite Shield. Vicky says, only a partner had the stone in the base Dark Souls for sure. Hawkshaw had a cool video about them and why you can find them in the clams in the Ash Lake. Though he goes to ext some extremes in his speculation. Yeah, I, I agree that he went to some extremes. And later on in one of his videos, he goes into a really crazy idea that, like, the undead merchant had to go down to Ash Lake to get the the purging stones. Which is, like, they she didn't have them in 1.0, so, like, they didn't give her the, a purging stone for, like, a lore reason. It was mostly gameplay. So, I, I don't think she actually had to go down to Ash Lake to get more purging stones. <laughs> Died doing what he loved, humming. <laughs> She's like a saint. Hurt versus Eek. You did Uno reverse card on him with that backstab. It's really sad that you have to cut that storyline to get the humanities. Bleep says, you'll let you, 
you feel like these kind of things should be reserved for players that are experienced or bold. Add extra challenge to parts of the games that are newer, player will avoid. It's hard to craft traps for people that don't know the game instead of those who don't. That know the game instead of the ones that don't. Yeah. The, at the very least, you could incentivize uh, more experienced players by like putting something rewarding ahead of it that a, a new player wouldn't be incentivized to get. So, like the master key, that's one of the ways to do it. So that's one of the good things about like Dark Souls. Oh yeah, we died a lot. Well, let's go ahead and use one of our humanities. Why does he even have a sunlight medal? That's a very good question, one that I don't have an answer to. Maybe he met Solaire or somebody else. <laughs> he could have uh, stolen it from somebody that he skilled for humanity. I may be crestfallen, but I'm not going to let you kick my ass. He says, we should all agree that if Miyazaki didn't make him suspicious on purpose, he should have had his riding license revoked. Yeah. All right. Uh, we can talk to everybody again. Okay. Start with law check and work our way back up. Wait. What the hell? Why is he not here right now? So just those arbitrary things. Oh, maybe because we're human. Does he only show up here for Hollow? Did you see her? That virtuous little maiden, complete with followers in tow. They're probably going straight to pillage graves. I've heard enough about the lady for a lifetime. What absolute rubbish, eh? <laughs> so the deep lore as to why the crestfallen knight does not wear a helmet confirmed <laughs> does not tip it to my lady. How did that nutty sorcerer make it back? Unexpected. But I suppose stranger things have happened. How did that raggedy old charm end up? You know, the one who idolized some godmother of pyromancy. He left for Blighttown, but never came back. Whereas most flee from sickness, he dives right in. Well, nothing will harm him once he goes hollow. Hmm? What now? I'm not up for ch And I think we already talked to him. I remember. Obviously. Oh, hello. I regret meeting you under such compromising circumstances. At least we both made it back unscathed. Did you see them? The three young clerics headed for the catacombs to seek kindling. Kindling is the art of feeding bonfires. The poor young girl sent down into a tomb. What a terrible mission she is burdened with. Oh, hello. Terrific to see us both in one piece. And pray that you never go hollow. Let's talk to all of these folks now that we're human again. Alright. Uh, Philippe says, You think the biggest example was Demon's Souls world, world Tendency, where the game literally becomes harder for players that die a lot and easier for those who aren't struggling? Yeah, I think it's a funny game mechanic, but, uh... I, I mean, they obviously chose to go that route, but... It's weird. Crestfallen kind of hates everyone. Oh no, you sent him? Jesus says, Why does the Ring of Favor break if you unequip it? Because uh, you need to show your devotion to your goddess, and so if you turn your back on her, she's going to turn her back on you. Maybe that's the, the lore behind it. Is it a balancing thing, or is there a lore behind it? So it's probably more of a balancing thing. As for the actual lore, I mean, that's kind of my uh, half-assed reason reasoning right there. That, that's not really contingent on anything like the game tells us. It's just me trying to make up a story that might fit. Venom says, Law Trick just leaves sometimes. He'll come back. It's You think it's meant to imply that he's tending to his business. Not he's smart. <laughs> the Crestfallen Warrior. Uh, Katie says, Crestfallen doesn't want to know about OnlyFans if he doesn't like to hear my lady. Never tell Laurentius where to find the Chaos Pyromancy. The biggest bro in the series doesn't deserve that fate. Oh, hello. My guests have finally arrived. I will be departing with them shortly. So, 
I'm afraid I will be saying goodbye soon. It was a pleasure. Hmm? What have we here? You look awfully raggedy. Times are grim. The least you can do is look sharp. Don't you dare meet my lady like that. You must scare her about? for good. What, what, what a jerk. <laughs> oh, you again. What business have you? I don't suppose we can help, though. We accompany my lady on her righteous mission. It is quite a chore, but I'm stuck with her. And Nico, too. I can't very well abandon them now. Oh, it's you. We're to leave momentarily. The catkins aren't exactly my idea of a good time, but what can one do? I do hope we meet again, Rary or not. So, uh, like this. You are undead as well. Then we've no time to fraternize. I have my mission and you no doubt have yours. We must not let this curse overcome us. Did I not explain the urgency of our tasks? Or are you so uncouth as to lack such judgment? By the looks of you, I should think not. Did I not explain the urgency? Or are you by the... Screw the way of white. <laughs> All my homies hate the way of white. So... I might go down to New Londo now and pick up the Soul of the Firekeeper just to compare both of them and... Um, what else? Just gonna... Oh yeah, and then we're gonna go back to the deaths and uh, rescue our pyromancy friend. And maybe we'll see Laurentius at some point again. He might die. We die, we die. Sucks to suck. It's really easy to actually like fall down there and die accidentally. Actually, I wonder how this looks in the remaster. A little bit clearer. Actually, kind of worse. Okay. Elda says that the rings are a sign of fidelity. Don't take them off. You don't want to offend the goddess. Uh, Manny says to Venom, it's definitely the most heartbreaking loss. Your first build was a pyro build and was devastated in losing him. Exactly same here, dude. <laughs> Bleep says, you just realized something? The clerics are on a quest to fight Pinwheel. Yes. Because uh, uh, Pinwheel has the right of kindling. And that'll make the, the bonfire stronger. Which is kind of weird, but I mean... Um... That they're the, sorry, it's kind of weird that, to me that they're seeking it, but I don't know. Just deal with what we've got sometimes. Katie says, "You think it's both like most gods aren't exactly a virtuous bunch, nor for forgiving." Venom says, "You wonder if this speaks to Miyazaki's thoughts on religion, since the priests and clerics in those games are always absolute assholes." Philippe says, "Wait a minute, they get stuck in the tomb of the giant. Did these idiots just walk past Pinwheel?" Kind of. I mean. It does seem unlikely that they would have fought Pinwheel, but, uh... I don't know. So these hollows are all, uh... despondent, essentially. Like, they won't attack the player again. Similar to the ones in the, um... No, what, not Sanctuary, what's it called? Uh, the place next to the Altar of Sunlight. We don't have our master key, so we can't go through here to like go straight to Bite Town, which is an easy skip. But we can go meet our good old buddy uh, Rickert of Vinheim, who for some reason is in prison. I guess when we look at him, he's also wearing the sorcerer's hat. He's probably not going to get a good vantage point.
interesting. So it looks like he's got like a little triangle on his medallion. Probably just look at my own sorcerer set, but... Oh, yeah. I also want to change this back out now that I think about it. Okay, this should be good. Uh, Venom said, or Philippe says, maybe they didn't know Pinwheel had it. Venom said, they either found an alternate path or they killed Pinwheel, much like when we do, it's probably just a copy. We're going for Nito, but Pinwheel's still right there. To be fair, Pinwheel wasn't supposed to have it, he stole it from Nito. Or maybe the converging timelines. James says, friendship ended with a way of white, and how Dark Wraith is my best friend. I think it's weirded that they failed. Nico has the best dialogue, so many revelations. Uh, Bobbin says he locked himself in there, right? I don't think so. I think he says he was put in here. We'll, we'll see in a second. Effervescent says, You think the clerics are actually on the way into the area of the Tomb of the Giants right before Nito so they can retrieve the white tight knight slab? Venom said, Rickard is wearing a unique set, the mage smith set. It's impossible to acquire without cheats. Okay. Thank you. Dragoon sorcerer set? Maybe. Hmm? Well, this is unusual. This is unusual. You haven't lost your head. And more importantly, you're free. How on earth? Well, I shouldn't pry. I'm Rickett of Vinheim. I was once an established smith. Look at me now. Can you believe it? Hmm? What is it? Have you? Oh no. Don't worry. I've no intention of escape. It's safe here. I can't bear the thought of going hollow out there. Although, I must admit, I've not much to occupy myself. How about this? I could forge your weapons, albeit with rather minimal tools. I'll show you what made me the best in Vinheim. Hmm? What is it? There's nothing to talk about. We're both cursed, undead, but... What's there really to moan about? Old Big Hat? Of course I've heard of him. Who hasn't in Vinheim? He was a royal member of Dragon School until he turned undead. I hear he was quite the character. Only that was a hundred years ago. What interest have you in the old eccentric now? All right, so that's interesting. So this does back up. Um, I'm so terrible with remembering who says what at times. But somebody in the chat was saying yesterday with uh, Logan potentially having first gone undead a hundred years ago. Sorcery? Don't ask me how it actually works. We only fiddle and forge until it works itself in. That's how we do it in Vinheim. We prefer to leave the theorizing to those uppity scholars. Hmm? What is it? There's nothing to talk about. We're both cursed, undead, but what's there really to moan about? Katie says, Very or Nox apparently means either O Night I Fear or I Fear the Night. The meaning is unclear because Nox is either vocative or nominative, but it, because it doesn't probably. From just doesn't uh, know their Latin, and it could be Ben Nocturne in accusative. So, yeah, that's why I think it's important to uh, look at the Japanese for ref for reference at times with what they're going for, because uh, as you see, we get a little bit of a sloppy Latin there, whereas, like, just the, the Japanese is super clear that it's, uh, may the flames guide thee. So, uh, generally a similar meaning overall, um, and if Dark Souls didn't place some more importance on fire and flames in general, I would say... It would be a fine translation. It's like, oh, fear the night, as opposed to, like, let the flames guide you. It, it kind of gets at a similar idea overall. It's just that, like, the complete the emphasis is on the completely opposite thing than it needs to be at times. Elsa said he thought he locked himself. Uh, so it looks like he was probably locked in here by somebody else because he's like, you're free. And if uh, it was his choice to lock himself in, it, it doesn't seem to me like he'd say it like that. Uh, from uh, Rickert, we can get our first sorceries. The Heavy Soul Arrow. A soul sorcery emphasizing power. Fire Heavy Soul Arrow. A more powerful but also slower sorcery. Difficult to use due to long cooldown and a limitation on the number of castings. 
Soul Arrow, uh, Elementary Sorcery files fires Soul Arrow. Soul Arrows inflict magic damage, making them effective against Iron Armor, Tough Scales, and other physically resilient materials. And we've already looked at the Catalyst. So he can reinforce our stuff. We don't have uh, a lot of things to work with, though. Let's just repair our stuff. Goodbye, then. Keep your head on out, then. You really help break the monotony. So I think, um... The only reason why he would have mentioned Logan right there... Oops. It was probably because we already rescued Griggs, so if we talked to him beforehand, he probably wouldn't have mentioned him. But I don't really know 100% what the triggers are sometimes. So, like, uh, compared to Bloodborne, uh... I don't know like a lot of the triggers for when characters say their dialogues, which is it's kind of hard to show off like 100%. Obviously we can't, just between like how things work with the Dark Wraiths and uh, Koth and uh, Sif thing. We're doing, we're making do with what we've got here I suppose. Oh, it looks way more watery. I mean, there's definitely water in the original Prepare to die edition, but uh, it looked a lot more murky. I mean, this kind of looks funny, just like the the textures of it. But overall, it is kind of clearer. Hey, we got the hunter's mark. <laughs> so this is new Londo, and there will be a bunch of ghosts. So I'm really only going to try to sprint in to pick up the the firekeeper soul and then run out. Uh, just because this place is really annoying, honestly. Um, it says, if he's the best in Vunheim, what the hell is he doing in a hole in the ground in New Londo Ruins? Well, he went undead. And so, if Logan left Vinheim after he went undead, maybe something similar happened to uh, Rickert. Maybe they were forced out. Oh, you get transient curses right off the bat. Okay, I didn't realize that. Maybe I should equip it, but maybe not. I don't know. It'll suck to lose the humanity if I die, but we'll get more eventually. Let's regain our stamina. Run to the right here. Okay, it's definitely easier to see what's going on here. Oh, we're screwed. Okay. So you can't walk through them, which is kind of annoying, but... Um, I figured that could happen. It's definitely not the end of things, especially since we just used all of our souls to uh, try to repair our weapons. So now Lotric might be back. Yes, sir. Okay. And then we get our second Firekeeper soul, and this one might have a different description. I don't remember which Firekeepers have what souls. It's not a key item? No, this is a regular one, isn't it? Okay, so these are exactly the same, so I... <laughs> Whatever, okay. Switch the stuff out. This one to be wave. I'll just leave that there for now. And he says, interesting that this implies that the magic weapons are not even close to being as powerful as they are in his lands. Venom says, the Latin lyrics to the boss themes are also all really iffy. You just gotta take it not so literally, more interpretively. Solero. You screwed your grammar, like from. <laughs> It's possible to escape that area without killing the ghosts. Yep, okay. I probably could have, like, kited them away, but that would have just taken a lot more time. 
Bobbin says, so all the women in New Londo became ghosts and the men became dark wraiths? Uh, I don't think so, because there's also, like, the mound of corpses. Um, but generally, you're, you're not, like, wrong there. Venom says, every Firekeeper soul is the same description except Anastasia's, the Fair Ladies, and the Lady of the Darklings. Basically, the ones you can talk to. Okay. Thank you. Ah, hello there. I have your reward. Please. Accept it. I am grateful to you for freeing me. <laughs> not enough for you. Well, let's not be greedy now. <laughs> By the Lord, your face. <laughs> your humanity is really slipping. But there are methods. Most fools have more humanity than they know what to do with. Now, who do you imagine will make the best use of it? Mm hmm? Hmm. You again. What is it? Our futures are murky. Let's not be too friendly now. Hmm. Uh okay. But as you guys have pointed out, uh, he is just kind of sitting across from uh, Anastasia, like a predator looking at its prey. So he will eventually kill her. I don't remember exactly what the triggers are for that. I think it's if you ring both bells or pick up something. Which I know is a super uh, descriptive phrase there. So with all of this business out of the way, we will go ahead and go back to the depths and uh, proceed on. <laughs> I literally walked into it. I thought I was fine. Was a little bit weird, but okay. Or maybe I should go down to the catacombs now. No, at the very least, I should rescue our pyromancy or py pyromancer friend. So let's see. We should probably be at full health now after restoring it twice or boosting up our thing twice. Definitely. Okay. Uh, Effervescent says, Lotra kills the Firekeeper when you enter... When you either pick up the Firekeeper's soul in Blighttown or after you ring both bells. Okay. Ringing both bells or collecting the Firekeeper souls in the parish and in Blighttown. I don't remember the one in Blighttown. Off the top of my head. Is that the one... Like... Uh, I, I, I would probably do a terrible job describing where it would be, so I'll just leave it there. We'll figure it out. Eventually. I don't even think we have the souls to buy anything from this lady right now. Where are we? 480? Yeah. So we'll just leave her be. Oh, it doesn't actually, like, turn me. Okay. I was trying to do, like, the Dark Souls 3 strats there. A little bit of fall damage. Did I ever read the key? Uh, key opening the door from the lower under undead berg to the depths. Those banished from the undead berg eke out their existence in the depths. Yeah, I remember because of eke. A damp layer with no trace of sunlight. Nearly half of the depths form a perilous flooded labyrinth. It's in the storm drain and... Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, thank you. I was totally thinking of a different spot. By the way, picking up the one in New Londo doesn't trigger lot check, so you're fine. Sweet. Key to the depths. It's not in this room.
Oh, that buffered strangely, and I got locked into the enemy over there. It's annoying. He's already throwing crap at us. Damn. I like swung way early too and I still hit. Definitely healing to full now. Soul of a nameless soldier. Uh, Tanner, welcome back. It's been a while. He said, you got here as fast as you could. What'd you miss today? Also great to see you playing your favorite of the Dark Souls. Also, how am I doing? I'm doing pretty well. Uh, you totally missed me killing the Capra Demon and then getting invaded by a thief and backstabbed to my death after the fact. And then falling in, <laughs> into the, a hole and losing all of my souls. So you've missed uh, some highlights, but... Oh, shit. I should actually uh, heal sometimes. Wait, I thought I just healed. So, you know, just a uh, par for the course, dying to silly things. Blaming the HUD <laughs> instead of myself. Like any uh, good streamer ought to do. <laughs> so how have you been, Tanner? It's been a, been a minute. That's so weird. Oh, that's annoying. Hey, we got a shard though. That kind of evens it out. Ah, uh, ignored the dog and now she's pouting. Feel bad. Yep, sounds like Dark Souls. Yeah, I didn't realize like uh, the the thieves wouldn't lose aggro after you'd already entered the, the boss room. So that was a kind of funny surprise. turn direction on the first one because I didn't just want to like swing myself off of the platform. Nope, sw swung too early and now we're getting each balled. How did that and I hit that one? I don't know. got like a butcher down there that's actually a female and she, I think she has a sack on her head. I think you loot the sack from her. Damn it, that's gonna hurt. Damn it, I was afraid that. So we just get wrecked by the little torches. Probably because we're going into areas with just our, our actual base HP. So I guess I really need to level that up or heal more frequently. The run back is a little bit annoying, but it's okay. Uh, 
Oh, that's first. Oh god. I'm definitely not playing super well right now. Holy crap. No humanity. Feels bad. Venom says, this is why Bloodborne and DS3 just force a bonfire into every boss room. Yeah. I don't know. There's pros and cons to it. Like, I, I know, like, a, a decent amount of people don't like that. Sometimes it does get a bit ridiculous in Dark Souls 3, but I suppose they could have just like gotten rid of the one bonfire right in front of like the Duke's, not the Duke's archives, but the Royal archives. Cause uh, it does feel overkill right there. Oh yeah, I was just gonna jump down and then. Let's, let's get a crap. That's not how we get a crap. Okay, this feels better already. I guess we've aggroed the butcher. I think she's gonna like drop down. Oh, that was weird. I should have gotten hit some, somewhat at least. I think there's another enemy. Okay, you can see like the eyes up there, like waiting to drop down. I think there's like two of them total. So she's going back, she's gonna run out that way. Nope. That's totally not how you do it though. No, 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 run away, run away. I probably only needed to heal once actually. I got stuck on the table and panicked. Hello. No sack? That's unfortunate. Are those rats? Those are dogs. Those have to be dogs, right? It was like uh, eating uh, pretty much just like dead flesh as opposed to living flesh, I guess. But the important thing is uh, undead don't really have to eat. Uh, I guess that isn't really stated so clearly in Dark Souls 1 yet, but at least with Dark Souls 3 it's like you really only get like the Estus soup or just Estus. And maybe it's in the Dung Pie description where it talks about like the undead don't really have a need to eat. So that just kind of shows some of its like avaricious nature. And then it continues to eat even though it no longer needs to. Oh, we get the large ember from this. Totally forgot. And then there's like a little drop off behind this uh, series of boxes that'll allow us to go do the plunging attack on the big rat, if I remember correctly. And probably save scum before going down into like the actual depths. It's kind of annoying to go over there. Uh, Tanner says, the guaranteed sack of the next one. Okay, the second one is guaranteed to drop the sack. Thank you. 
Let the Hollows hit the shield. That staggers them long enough for even an ultra great sword attack. Katie says, your idea of how to fix Slayer's bonfire is to move it to the other side of the arena so that at least makes the run back to the princes less painful? Yeah. Now it just feels insulting to run across the bridge. Siegbrow. Okay, that'd be another one. I just... Okay, we're going this way. Okay, so this is the way to the depths. Okay, I forget. And so going back this way will uh, allow us to save another friend. It's really easy to miss some of these NPCs. That's kind of a scary ragdoll. Get the sack thing. I think there's just... I don't remember if there's anything down there. Just hollows. Well, we'll have to check anyway. Uh, actually, this will be a good time to save scum, but before we do that, let's check out our sack. That sounds really bad. A bloodstained patchwork sack by the undead man-eating cook lurking in the depths. Two eye holes have been haphazardly cut out. It is unexpectedly soft and comfortable to wear, but it is probably near meaningless in terms of defense. So this is Laurentius. Here, here, over here. Please, you must help me. Oh, there you are. You must help me. Or else, she'll have me for lunch. You're my only hope. Oh, please. Oh, there you are. You must help me. Or no! <laughs> Thank you. I would have first the effort. Are you mad? Right, no death quote. Didn't really expect one, but, you know, just checking anyway. <laughs> oh no, say he's coming near an NPC. I've committed a great sin this day. What sin is that? Just hitting him? There's always uh, Oswald who will forgive our sins. He killed me first, guys. This is self-defense, I swear it. I thought he was still stuck in a barrel. <laughs> you. Yeah, yes, you. Here, over, over here. Please, you must help me. Whoa!
Oh, actually that wasn't too bad. Then Thank you. I would have been a supper without you. Been eating alive, I started to think. Thank you. Thank you dearly. I am Laurentius. Or the great swamp. I will not forget my debt to you. Oh, hello there. I'm fine, thanks to you. Curse the efforts! Are you mad? I owe my life to you. This is wrong. You were my friend. Curses. <laughs> Oswald actually can't forgive all sins like killing Guinevere. Best spoiler interest is here. Correction, was here. So yeah, I actually hate Laurentius, and we're gonna not even bother to save it back again. No, I'm just screwing with you guys. <laughs>Curse the Empress, are you mad? Tanner says, you're fairly sure he has unique dialogue depending on how you free him. If you hit him while breaking the barrels versus just rolling, you'll go check the wiki. Well, we'll, we'll roll him this time anyway. Our fat roll with our uh, big boy body. Phobos wonders, just wonders if he's related to Lawrence. No. <laughs> Frantically, no. Eduardo says he can't even handle that chaos flame. It's ironic that a pyromancer can't break out of a wooden barrel. <laughs> Manny Stagall was about to say. <laughs> You, yeah, yes, you, here, over, over here, please, you must help me. Thank you. I would have been a supper without you. Been eating alive, I started to think. Thank you. Thank you dearly. I am Laurentius, or the Great Swamp. I will not forget my debt to you. Oh, hello there. I'm fine, thanks to you. Oh, hello there. I'm fine, thanks to you. Alright, so we've rescued our good buddy Laurentius. He will teach us pyromancers later on. Uh, so maybe now we should go back to Firelink Shrine. Uh, I'm trying to remember if there's actually a quick way back from the depths in Blight Town to it. Well, I guess once we get the key... Uh, yeah, so I guess I just won't fight Quaylog until we do that stuff. That... or Gaping Dragon, huh? I'm trying to think what I should do. Gaping Dragon versus Pinwheel. At the very least, I'll get this next bonfire. And we'll need to be a uh, human. Fell for the oldest trick in the book because I was thinking about other things. Probably could have mashed and gotten free. Maybe not with this uh, base HP. But at the very least, it'll get us the chance to talk to um, Laurentius again. I wonder if, um, okay, he's still there. Look where he is. He's up here, isn't he? Yeah, okay. Are they gone now? Yeah, okay. So there's a really a short time period that you can use to talk to all of them. You again? Me? Uh, I've become separated from my lady. I've scoured near and far. 
but no sight of her. Where could she have gone? Milady, to think I swore to protect you with my life. Your Highness, where have you gone? I am entirely to blame for this. Oh, woe is me. I am unworthy, deathly so. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. Miracles, was it? Sometimes I lose myself. Pay me no mind. I guess I didn't learn that from him. Is he not going to talk to me again? What the hell? That was weird. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Miracles, was it? Sometime. By the lords! You damned fool! Enough of you! Feel the wrath of the gods! Trying to heal. No! This can't be. It can't end like this. But nothing changes from that. Where's our, our friend? I was wondering if uh, he'd have like extra dialogue or maybe like an additional item to show off some of his treachery. Treachery? Treachery. <laughs> He never finds the Chaos Flame? Phobos says, no, come on, there has to be something. There's got to be a reason why there's a Yuri in every game. Seems may have been cut content. Okay. Well, I see you made it out. Yeah, I, I made it out safely too. I have my Pyromancy of the Great Swamp, so I can usually manage with a bit of care. Oh, yeah. By the way, uh, I can share my spells with you. I think you have a knack for it. All you need are the materials. I'll be pleased to help you. Ah, uh, unless you find the magics unsavory. Oh, really? Well, that's a shame. But it, uh, it's your choice. I'm on the fringe. Yeah, I know. I'm dead or not, that's who I am. I only wish that, that, that I could have repaid you somehow. Oh, hello there. I'm pleased to see you safe. Oh, and uh, if by chance you've had a change of hearts, I'll be pleased to assist you by sharing my spells. Yeah, wonderful. I'm sure that, you know, they'll be of some use, some assistance. Here, first take this. A flame from the Great Swamp. Now you're a fully-fledged pyromancer. Why, let's get started right now. All right, so Venom says he drives Rhea's talisman, but only if you save her and he gets to kill her in the parish. Okay. Oh, well, this question. <laughs> um, Let's... Think about all right let's go to the bottom and then work our way up fireball is a standard pyromancy of the great swamp hurl fireball the fire damage caused by fireballs makes them effective against corporeal beasts and the undead who by nature fear flame so that's kind of a interesting lore that the undead fear the flame despite like coveting souls and everything um pyromancy of carmina who harnessed the power of flame to actualize the inner self intense sweating reduces flame damage Carmina, the most accomplished pupil of Salaman, the master pyromancy, pyromancer, pioneered new directions for the art of pyromancy. So it's interesting that uh, Carmina's spells are probably related to like Karthus later on, but uh, maybe that's just them like altering the name over time. And uh, yeah, so Salaman is also the uh, master pyromancer, and he was the pupil of Quelana. And we might be able to find out about that more later on. So Iron Flesh is Pyromancy of Carmina, who harnessed the power of flame to actualize the inner self. Iron Flesh boosts defense and resilience. Use of this Pyromancy requires caution, as the caster becomes exceedingly heavy and unable to move freely. Combustion, uh, create powerful flame in hand. One of the most basic Pyromancies, for this very reason the flame thus created is fierce. 
Fire Orb, Pyromancy, which improves upon Fireball. Hurl Fire Orb. The flaming fire orb explodes upon impact, causing fire splash damage and a spectacle which seems to symbolize the strength of the fire, manipulating pyromancers. So that's all of them for now. Uh, as we look at their stat requirements, they don't uh, have any intelligence or faith requirements, so pyromancy is pretty good for those who don't have anything. I don't exactly remember how they scale though. So. Somebody in chat probably knows better than I do. Manny says, man gets absolutely hyped. Carmina is in Carmine, a red color. Okay. Reggie, welcome in. You said, hey, y'all. Uh, also, Firelink theme. <laughs> Craig has him. LOL. Pyromancy is the art of casting fire. Produce flame, then channel it. Just as our ancestors did. A pyromancer must be in tune with nature herself. My home, the Great Swamp, is an abundant store of nature. You will understand one day. It only takes time. Pyromancy has a, well, rather primitive aspect to it. It meshes poorly with advanced culture, and pyromancers are considered rather unsavory, which is fine, as I never got along with anybody anyway. So, for me, turning undead didn't change a thing. <laughs> <laughs> a pyromancer's flame is, is a part of his own body. The flame develops right along with his skill. When I gave you that flame, I gave you a part of myself. Please take good care of it. A pyromancer's flame... Goodbye, then. Be safe, friend. Don't you dare go alone. So that's a pretty straightforward dialogue on the part of Laurentius there. So let's equip our... not equip. Check out our flame that he just gave us, so it'll be above the shields. So the Pyromancy Flame is a flame medium used by the Great Swamp Pyromancers. Pyromancers arouse this flame to produce various fire arts. Equip Pyromancy Flame to produce Pyromancy. Attune Pyromancies from a scroll at a bonfire. Most Pyromancies have limited number of uses. So the flames in Dark Souls 1 don't really say too much. You really get most of that info from the spells and from Laurentius himself. I don't know if the Crestfallen guy is going to have anything different to say. Maybe Laurentius will as well. We'll see. Ah, your widow. Ooh, what? What? I love it. That's, uh... This... What are you looking at? Don't try. All right, so nothing. How did that old man oh, never mind. make it back? Unexpected. But I suppose stranger things have happened. You again? There's nothing to speak about, really. Oh, actually, something strange did happen. That crow flew off with somebody in its clutches. I think it was a man curled up in a ball. Stranger things have happened, right? No, maybe not. So that's a, a pretty cool hint that we can return to the Undead Asylum. I might actually just do that. Mm -hmm. What now? I'm not up for chatting. Leave me alone. I kind of want to go down in the catacombs to see what's going on with uh, Patches and Rhea and all mm -hmm. that. What now? I'm not up for chatting. Leave me alone. Well, where have you been? <laughs> I'm glad to see you're safe. Have you heard of trusty patches? If ever a man has rubbed me up the wrong way. <sighs> If he ever comes around again, I swear, I'll have his hide. I like that it's the same voice actor, essentially. You again. What is it? Our futures are murky. Let's not be too friendly now. So, those are all of the NPCs here. Uh... Venom says, DS1 Pyromancy only scales to the Pyromancy Flame level. No stats needed. Okay, that's that's actually really sweet. 
So we'll probably do some pyromancy with this build, obviously. Uh, at least at the very basic stuff. Maybe iron flesh, just for the hell of it. Uh, poise through everything with our, our, our giant dad build, or just like the enchantment for fire weapons. Bobbin says he's just like you for real. Go to the asylum and get the rusted iron ring before exploring Blight Town. Is that a, a remastered item? Because I don't remember if that ring existed in Prepared to Die Edition. Bobbin says, who did it fly off with? There's only Oscar there. Crestfallen's your spirit animal. Lotra giving all the red flags. Effervescent says, if you talk to Ray and her companions, then you'll have already missed patches as his first encounter in the catacombs. Really? Okay. You were recently reading something about Heraclitus for work, and his ideas about fire being the origin of the universe and how change is linked to it reminded you quite a bit of this game. Just thought you'd mention. You're not the first person to bring up, bring up Heraclitus, I think. And you said, you think dex speeds up casting time, but that's it for stats. Okay. It is the ring that lets you walk normally in deep water. I, I know what it is, but I don't remember if it was in uh, the earlier versions. If a pyromancy flame is a piece of a pyromancer, does that mean they all tie back to the original uh, pyromancy flame and caster? It's a potential, um, but I, I don't know for sure, just because it, it gets a lot more murky by the time of Dark Souls 3. But you might be right just with that kind of a train of thought there, though. Oh, hello there. I'm pleased to see you safe, as always. If you provide the materials, I can teach you pyromancy. A pyromancer's flame is a flame. When I gave you that flame, please. Goodbye then. Be safe, friend. Don't you dare go hollow. Damn it. <laughs> That's what I get for trying to do the big slam, as always. Oh, well. Goodbye then. Be safe, friend. Don't you dare go hollow. You detest my pyromancy. That must be it. Then I'll give you a taste of it. And it will not be pleasant, I assure you. <laughs> Norris is the NPC you've most bullied in all these streams. For good reason, right? Oh damn, he attacks you right off the bat. And he drops nothing. Okay. So I think before going to Laurentius, I'll try to go down to the catacombs. Um, and all that. Also, let me go into storage here. Or is it save data management? Okay. No. Copy to USB. Still got the USB in. Why do you hate the best, bro? Uh, he gives me the most chance to uh, kill him. But to be fair, uh, we've also killed Lawtrack just as much. Still B said, You thought it was more that the pyromancy flames were split off from another's flame into a new separate flame. That's uh, also possible. So. You. Hey. Maybe you need to co collect them all like Pokemon or something like that. Uh, maybe I shouldn't die. I should probably go back all the way up. Should we get back up? Yeah, we need to drop down here. I know our uh, Hello and dogs will attack us. Nope, oh, wasn't trying to die there. I wonder if Rhea and company will be gone. If they are, I might just uh, reload it again and just run back. 
You don't think I remember how bad the skeletons are until I get a holy weapon? No, I mean, I remember how bad the skeletons are. Uh, very well, because the last time I played through the game, uh, I went through the catacombs at level one. <laughs> so that hurt quite a bit. Okay. Let's try to download it again. And if they're gone, they're gone. It'll be fine. I'll still go to the catacombs just to check it out. Maybe we'll get lucky and get patches as dialogue. If not, uh, oops. <laughs> Sleep said, you wonder how it would have been if NPCs just came back with amnesia after you killed them. That would have been kind of cool. Especially if you could, like, kill them multiple times before they, like, became either fully hollow or, um, permanently dead. Because that would really go well, at least with the stuff with, like, Dark Souls 2 the most. Dogs. You just need a bow to kill the necromancers from a distance. Uh, that's a good idea. You could totally do that. I mean, I, I've also cheesed it enough. You can make the skeletons fall off, and then they'll stay permanently dead. So this thing respawned, because I should have killed it before. Dangerous. What am I doing? Let's see what she has in store for us. Oh, there you are, dearie. I have moss. Now dish up some souls. <laughs> Katie said the stream died for a minute. What about everyone else? Let me check. Uh, it doesn't look too bad on my end. It could be YouTube again. Eduardo, welcome back. You said, in the catacombs, if you kill the necromancers, the skeletons either then die permanently. In case you didn't know, but it's still best to have a holy weapon. Yeah, I do know about that, but thank you for reminding me. Uh, what else? Oh, we have a lot of souls. Holy crap. Oh, she has a limited number of the Purging Stones. Okay, that makes sense. No, wait, these are the ones that I have. I'm just being dumb. Okay. So just uh, let that be. Rhea and company might be gone. Or probably gone. If, uh... Reloading it brought back that one enemy. Always kill the rat for the chance at the humanity. Holy crap, he just teleported. Why am I not shielding? <laughs> Thought I was about to fall off. Part of the reason why I didn't uh, rescue Laurentius is just because I didn't know if he was like the trigger for making Rey and company leave just then. Briggs. Alright, now they're all gone. Kinda figured that would happen. Ah, 
What color and cut? What? Enough to level up twice and have a little bit left over. I really should go with vitality at this point. Oh, no, just level up once. How much weight do we need for this entire set? 38.8. So we need... How many more levels then? I don't remember if the drop here. Um, I, I, I like the.
Oh yeah, I was playing totally muted. Thank you guys for pointing that out. Uh, screwed up. So yeah, I was just uh, talking about my first time coming down to the catacombs. I was scared crapless because uh, I came here early and uh, totally didn't know what to do with the uh, like skeleton heads that'll like come out and uh, shoot at you. Go. My first time around. Because I was trying to like fight everything like head on. And you can't do that with those skeleton heads. You do keep moving. I like that though. Okay. Ooh. As if the catacombs weren't scary enough. So yeah, I was just saying uh, while I was muted that it's uh, actually a really different experience coming down here with a few levels in tow. Because uh, the first time I did, or like the last time I came through here, damn it, damn it, damn it, I was trying to catch him. There we go. Okay, we're good. But there's three of them. Okay, there's a third one. We're screwed. Okay, I screwed up. But, I mean, it's decent progress right there. Alright, sorry about that. Twi parry twice if you can hear us or read us. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely can't parry twice in a row if I wanted to. The crew crew is playing the game now. He isn't speaking, so we won't find out he isn't the real LP. Have you seen the videos where a crew of dudes in DS3 had Kirk's Thorn armor and they were just gang rolling invaders and bosses to death? You do like the catacombs are hard level to navigate where the X isn't obvious. I got invaded by a Kirk crew in real life. Rip. Rip me. So yeah, my first time, or not first time, but the last time I played through Dark Souls 1, I came down here early because I didn't remember that you actually need the Lord Vessel to uh, encounter Nito. So I, just, I actually wanted to kill him first, but uh, I couldn't do it. So I just came down here, fought Pinwheel, and that was pretty much it. Jump. So I'm pretty fami familiar with this area because I died so many times coming through here at uh, SL like 1 or whatever it was. I wasn't SL1, but I was like just straight from killing the um, Asylum Demon. Oh, he tried to parry me. Oh, gee. Thing can still hit me. And then I let go of that too soon. Was that an exploding skull? A red and white round shield. Okay. LP ran into Ursula and she stole my voice. Dang. Tanner said, you remember coming through here super early, followed a guide on how to be OP early in this game, ended up sitting at the second bonfire being stuck here for a really long time? Yeah. Catacomb can fit in many parts of a playthrough. In that regard, it's kind of well-made. Ursula is an invader. SL, not a lot. Yeah, pretty much. So, uh, coming through this time with an upgraded weapon and uh, a few levels, it's uh, a lot easier to manage. Also, I know what I'm doing more. So I know where the enemies are going to be. Don't need to chase them anymore. 
Oh no. So much for me saying I know where I'm going. Because this totally isn't the way. Scary skeleton eyes. Alright, here we go. Alright, now I'm having some errors. So this should be more than enough to get us to a patches. I think there's items over there in here. Let me check my uh, settings. Oh, we're starting to get like a storm here, so that might actually affect things shortly. Hopefully not. Sleep says it's not particularly easier later on because the enemies are weird and gimmicky. The level also focuses on a lot of traps. All the good secrets are in Nito's domain, like the coffin slide and Vamos and the hidden bonfire. Sleep says the only issue with this area is that you can go there by accident as a new player. You think the graveyard was meant to turn these players off, but it ended up just scaring them? Yeah, Blue Muse says the stream is messing up. Okay. So hopefully it gets better in a second here. Yeah, so it's not actually on my end, it's more of YouTube's end right now, it seems. The skelly wheels are such a pain. Yeah, especially with the one Black Knight that can gank you too. Oh, that one is already alive. Lucerne. It's a halberd with a large, hard, beak-like protrusion. It inflicts thrust damage instead of thrusting like a spear. The wielder of the Lucerne aims to club the head with its hard beak. Oh wait, we're at the other bonfire. We only have five heals. It's all good though. We could jump down to Vamos like immediately. Oh, I guess not because this is closed off, but... We do know about all these little tricks, you just YOLO. I'm low on HP, holy crap. Oh. I don't remember if that one has like a caster that it's associated with other than the one we killed. It might. Yeah, it does. Okay. The real danger is getting rid of all the uh, skulls there. There is a necro. He's right here. Oh, I didn't have enough HP. Okay. Well, that's the uh, first hard part out of the way. Effervescent said, the stream's fine for you here in the UK. Okay, I was getting a little bit of issues with YouTube itself telling me. Sleep says, uh, is it a storm that's in the background? Oh, not in the game, like in real life, sorry. <laughs> Uh, Fleep says, if you analyze Firelink Shrine, it's clear the graveyard meant to be out of the way, but somehow people still think it's the normal route. I didn't think it was the normal route, I just liked the, the challenge of trying to kill the skeletons and see what was behind it. Because I'm also, like, really stubborn. But it isn't as clear that, like, the graveyard isn't where you want to go first. 
compared to like going up the one random ramp at the other end of the level. Like the graveyard's like much more open. It seems more natural to go that way than up the ramp, to me at least, as a fresh player. Nito could be dark aspected, but he doesn't have to brag like the furtive pygmy. YouTube does this in a bit, just wants to drop the resolution or stutter. I guess it's weird lore wise, you think it's more mechanics? Holy strong against the undead. It seems like it's here because it's a DD staple. Nito has darkness in its areas, but he's not really associated with the dark. Probably an oversight caused by a trope. It's weird because I would think like Nito's thing is like he's absorbing light. So that's kind of like what goes on with the uh giant catacombs oh so there's a skull all the way down there oh you can see them from further in this game you can even see that item i think you couldn't quite see it so clearly originally so now we can just yolo through everything i'm pretty sure Probably could have grabbed my souls and leveled up. Wait, how did he actually get up here? That's annoying. So yeah, it looks like no patches. That's unfortunate. Maybe I shouldn't go see Vamos then. Because <laughs> it'll be a little bit annoying to get out of there. Well, I guess... Uh, if we're going to go see Rhea... Never mind, we'll, we'll just do everything. We'll come through this area first. And then do the Asylum. Nito has a humanity aura. Aura. That might make sense then. Doesn't really hurt the game. You only notice it if you think real hard, and it would have been a lot less intuitive to use some other elements, unless anti magic was an element. Or maybe if they said that the undeads are damaged by light. Elda says, You were one of the people stuck down here after you got the secret bonfire. You think Miyazaki himself said that he wanted Nito to have a burning aura, but you need to check exa what exactly he said. Like, his descriptions are a little bit weird. If I remember correctly, and I'm, I might not be, it's that he wanted the, to have it be like he was burning darkness? Or like... Uh, I, I phrased that a little bit strangely, but... Um, let's go up. Let's go see our friend Vamos. So we can't go through here. Is it this way? Oh yeah, this... Apparently it's not a fake wall. Okay. There's gotta be another way up. Oh no, that's the way up, isn't it? I always do this area backwards, so I forget how you're supposed to proceed through it. Or maybe that what I did was right, I don't know. No, this has this does go down, doesn't it? Because I always just drop down. I don't think of how it works. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I remember, I remember. But I screwed up a little bit. This is it. Stop hitting me. Uh. So 
So if I remember correctly, you actually just need to walk off here. You don't run. Because that screwed me up for a while. Well, I did not remember correctly. But maybe you need to just run off. And like rolling was probably the bad one. What's the lore around Vamos' bad voiceover mastering? I have no idea. Because he has a... Oh, did I not rest at the other bonfire? Oops. This will be easy to get to it now. Bloop said, maybe the Dark Soul reputation played against it for the graveyard. This game's supposed to be hard. The huge health and damage of those skeletons gotta be normal, not a red flag. What's the lore of the... Vamos voice? You guess like Nito is a lamp covered in a dark cloth? Absolute legend of voice acting is coming. Back the way for patches by the waterfall. Oh, is he is he there now? Okay, we'll try. I think you guys said that he wouldn't be there once we talked to Ray and company. It'd be kind of interesting if the reason he hates the clerics is because of Petrus. That gets uh, it persists throughout all the games, so maybe not. I guess we could go back to the waterfall again. <laughs> Can we see him from this distance? Probably not. Looks like no. No friendo. Oh, we didn't get rid of their guy either. Okay. We're screwed. We're screwed. <laughs> I probably could have rolled away instead of a uh, shielding and then healed. Patches is by the other one of the lever, the one up the ladder. Okay. We'll, we'll check. Because that, that'll be easy to get to now with the other ones unlocked. So by the secret... A bonfire. I didn't get my souls. That was dumb of me. Okay, whatever. Because he would normally try to make us fall down over there. That's right. All right, well, that's all good. I'm trying to think. No, I probably don't want that bonfire after all. Come through here, then drop down normally. And go get our boy Vamos. Go. Oh. Run. There we go. Green Titanite Shard. I think that's our first green one. Is uh filled in? Mm. Okay, whatever.
Did I never light the secret bonfire? I thought I lit it, but it just didn't send me back there. No, I guess I did forget it, didn't I? I don't think I went through that wall. <laughs> oh well, it's not too important. There's nothing really there. Thatches is supposed to be right next to the switch by the waterfall fall near the second bonfire. Okay. Justin, welcome in again. It's been a while. Nice to have you again. <laughs> Laura Vamos' voice is that Miyazaki ran out of time, so he just hired someone on the Fiverr, and they turned in a voice like emulator because Miyazaki paid them in screws or something. Results are great. Justin's tired mostly, busy week at work. Uh, did I kill Pinwheel first? Not yet. Tanner says, same, one of your jobs has you working double the usual shifts. Hardly feel like you have time to be tired these days. Dang. Yarky says, wait, what? You're pretty sure your Patches shows up first in the Tomb of the Giants, not near the surface. No, he does show up here. Um, so I guess maybe talking to Rhea and company makes him not spawn here, which would probably be why like a decent number of people missed it. But he'll uh, make the player fall on the uh, second lever portion. Because he'll like pull it while we go over there. <laughs> You'll spoil my focus. Maybe it just shows he's like part of a different race or something. I don't know. His his voice is uh top tier essentially. <laughs> So with Vamos, we can buy the Homeward Bones, a Titanite Shards, and a bunch of arrows. So if you do come here early, this is a decent spot to farm, because there's going to be a bunch of the Bone Wheel enemies, but they can eventually kill Vamos. So there is, this is kind of a little bit of a dangerous area. And I guess in the remaster, they added this bonfire here, which probably makes dealing with Pinwheel a lot simpler. So this is a pretty decent spot to actually farm if you kind of know what you're doing here. This is how a skeleton speak. Imagine Nito. His voice is amazing. Because he's from uh, the Outer Dark as a Cthuloid. Clang, clang, clang. So many introverts in Dark Souls. Skeleton boomer. <laughs> so this area is actually pretty dangerous though. Especially if you whiff your attacks. Holy crap. Did I hit it? it Must have. I don't know. It was weird. So if you kite the pin, uh, bone wheels over here into this wall, uh, they can still get in sometimes, but it's kind of easier to like hit them. So we had like 300 souls before, and now we have 1,500. So as I was saying, like this is a really good spot to, to farm up. Um, let me go back all the way upstairs. So this is going to be a painful spot for a variety of reasons. Can we not see our boy? Is he not here in this one?
And there will be a Black Knight that will drop down. Oh crap. And he can, uh, do a lot of damage. Oh dang. Uh, that's not cool. Let's run away. Oh, not that way. <laughs> this this is why the area is like a little bit dangerous. Bone wheels suck for everyone. It was the bomb. It was the bombos bonfire you were stuck in. Yeah. So. Okay, maybe just only like flicking the bonfires. I didn't rest at this one though. I don't think. Maybe I did. I must have. I'm confused why I'm like spawning here of all the places. But actually, that's kind of what I wanted. Let me think about this. Okay. That's that's not what I wanted though. Oh yeah, so this way we go backwards. Damn it, there's like a bug on my neck. What the fuck? Ugh. What are we doing? That was extremely unpleasant. And we're almost low on life. Oh, well, may as well... Get this bonfire. Actually, yeah, this one might be a better spot for what I want to do. <sighs> See, I did, I did light it. I just didn't rest at it. Oh, wait, maybe that triggers patches. I don't think so. That wouldn't make too much sense. The pinwheels are the boss here. They can't pass into Pinwheel's room, but they can go into Vamos room. That makes sense. Udo's voice would sound boost ba base boosted. Boost basted. Wow. They don't want to accidentally kill their master. You got gang rolled to death. Maybe the Deep Lord's Kirk was raised by Bone Wheels. Well, they're certainly chaotic. I'll say that much. Uh, I don't remember exactly. Jump down there. We go through here. I think that's right. Okay, I kind of vaguely remember. I should have uh, just gone off the wall. Their other holy friend. Oh, he must have jumped off already. Okay. Knights, those dudes are up there. Why is he up there? Oh, so this just falls down there? Oh wait, no, this is a different spot. Okay. That was too slow. We got a white chunk and a twinkler. They remembered. Hey Tiny Boots, welcome back in. You said I hope the stream's been going well. It has, for the most part. Uh, I don't remember where this is. Oh, so this would bring you over to first one. Damn it.
I'm trying to remember the fast way to get down there. Maybe I just need to actually go through this building then. Should have killed the necro guy. Let's go back. Here, here I am being indecisive. One of the things that I hate. That's that spot. Where are you going? Back up top. I'm ganked. I could not move in between them at all. Oh. Maybe Patches does the bridge trick second. He does it after you, um... Click the first one, I thought. I've done it before, I just don't remember exactly how the trickers go. Because uh, he comes to this one, I thought like you first see him over there at the first one, then he says something over here. He like moves over here after you flick the first lever, because then when you come back out over here, he like waits for you to go by onto this thing, and then he like pulls it behind you. Alright, well let's just not worry about souls and whatnot. So it's interesting that there's the little, uh... Soaps, soapstone here. So this is like the hint, like go through the wall, I guess. And then there's like a bunch of archers. I wasn't trying to come through here, actually. I was just trying to show it off. Please stop. <laughs> they probably didn't change Vamos' voice because they knew gamers would be would burn the world. Maybe the necro fell through the ceiling. <laughs> That's why you always lose a uh, blessed weapon in the catacombs. No skeleton respawns regardless. For the most part, flashbacks to losing capra souls because of the thief in gravity. <laughs> Fast way down is from the first bridge at the top? Okay. That's kind of what I thought, but I just obviously not fully remembering. Yeah, that makes sense. So I didn't want the second bonfire, like I thought. Let's go through here. Pick up the items. So just souls. Let's kill the Necro. That's not cool. That ragdoll though. Okay. Let's go back to the first bonfire. So, I'm actually going to save scum it right now. Just so I don't waste a ton of humanity. Just because I want to show it off and I might screw it up. Uh. Never mind. I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait to do it. Petrus's talisman scales with intelligence, so maybe it's not unique to him in patches, has experience with faithless clerics. Yeah, I feel like that must be, like, the meta rationale behind it. Vamos run? No, I wasn't gonna kill Vamos. 
So what's the spot? It's that one over there. Okay. The first bridge. So you need to like jump over there, don't you? Okay, I screwed up. I fell so hard, uh, my OBS disconnected <laughs> for no reason. So now we're back live. That's weird. A shinies. Or shins. <laughs> Sleep says the clerics have always been shady in souls. You wouldn't be surprised if Patches was just aware of it. Where is a spot? Okay. away from the skeleton heads and then we get to fight our good old friend the titanite demon so in the distance there you can see it ominous stuff indeed you guys can't really see that. That's kind of garbage looking. Okay. Oh, we'll see it in just a second here anyway. So this one's harder to deal with because it's a much more enclosed space. Oh, that's the death move. Oh, wait, no. We lived. What the hell? Oh, now we're dead. The binoculars, of course. <laughs> that was so bad it would seem intentional. <laughs> uh. Okay, now we're good. You're confusing Petrus and Velka's talismans? Petrus's just has a ma high magic adjust for low faith users. Okay. Damn it, stop it. Basically, Patches is a liar, but he's an honest liar. <laughs> there are two sins that God can't forgive, leveling Dex and <laughs> killing the Legend of Amos. Still a good detail that Petrus uses a Talaman for low faith individuals. Yeah, that is a good detail. I agree. So let's uh, try not to die so easily. Oh yeah, we're at a distance now. It's going to lightning us. And it. Oh, we're that low already? Holy crap. That was uh, the death move, as I call it. Oh wait, it was probably only death for me before just because I was so low level. That might have been why I lived. Okay. Let's get it this time. Let's play smarter. These guys kill themselves, essentially.
So that's the drop. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, build up to full. Tiny Boot says you still can't believe uh, Last Pro allows himself to die just so we can see how the animations play out. Yeah, I wish, right? <laughs> I was pushing my luck a little bit there. Oh, I'm just gonna jump. Scary. Lightning. Wall. Go back. Gain the stamina. Probably die soon. We're, we're stuck. Shoot lightning, hopefully. That's the scary move. Oh, I thought we killed it. We just stunned it. Now we killed it. Okay. Demon Titanite. Surprised that didn't just uh, auto populate in the inventory. Okay, here we go. We get the Eye of Death. And then uh, we can go to our new covenant spot. Oh, so the one that sticks out. So we can nestle in this coffin and uh, get teleported to a boss arena without a boss in it, essentially. So we just uh, chill out here. Actually, let's change our equipment as always. Santa says, truly an art tour of gaming. <laughs> what if the nameless blacksmith deity's name was actually Vamos? It's possible. He was expunged from the annals because he was of another species and outsider to the gods. Uh, Madizar says, you've never seen this trick before? Okay, so uh, this is a way to get one of the kind of hidden covenants in the game. And uh, one of my favorites just for like the lore of it, essentially. Take a little bit of a dirt nap here. I wonder all the dead are pissed. All these undead going and messing around in their coffins. So we wake up in a new area here. In the Tomb of the Giants. So as we uh, step out into this cave, step around, we can see a gigantic sarcophagus, two of them actually. And one of them housing in the Grave Lord Nito. Yeah, 
As we approach, we can pray to the sarcophagus, sarcophagus grave lord. We're probably going to get a trophy right now. I don't know. Maybe you need to actually like hip enter covenant. Oh, and here, right? There we go. So we can become a grave lord servant, and I think I might do it just because. Uh... Doing so gives us the grave lord sword and a miracle, the grave lord sword dance. And we offer Eyes of Death to Nito, so the item that we just picked up, essentially. But let's look at all of our uh, new items here. So, Eye of Death. Uh, online play item, lure phantoms from other worlds. Only the Covenant <laughs> Covenanter can use the item while Hollows cannot. The dreadful Eyes of Death spread disaster across neighboring worlds. Phantoms lured, lured to the host world may end up as victims, allowing the eyes of death to multiply, and leading to further proliferation of bane. So as for like the lore reason, I don't exactly know what it uh, entails, but these can be farmed from basilisks, so perhaps the basilisk eyes are eyes of death. Uh, I do wonder if eyes are used for warding off curses, but uh, I don't quite remember my rationale for it at the time but it was just something I was thinking about just because the uh, basilisks uh, breathe uh, a certain type of breath which can cause curse or instant curse or death curse as it's called so maybe their eyes prevent it a little bit but that doesn't exactly work out in Dark Souls 2 because uh, you can find the eyeless ones that like burrow in the sand I guess so we also picked up the Gravelord sword dance as well as the uh, sword itself this is a miracle only known by the servants of the first dead Gravelord Nito. Giant Gravelord swords jut out in vicinity. Nito sleeps deep within the tomb of the giants, quietly overseeing all death and waiting for his servants to usher in the eyes of death. This establishes that uh, Nito is the first dead, and the term that they use for that in Japanese is Shishas, and uh, the undead that we are just called uh, Fushi, which could mean like immortal or it could just mean undying. Or undead so there is like a supposed to be more of a difference between what Nito is versus like the the player and uh, it says uh, he sleeps deep within the tomb of giants so the Japanese for it says it's the tomb of the gods giants or the like the gods tomb of giants I guess would be another way of reading it so uh, I'm not entirely sure how relevant that is, but I'm just bringing it up because it was a little bit lost in translation there. Let's check out the sword. The Gravelord sword. Sword wielded only by servants of Gravelord Nito, the first of the dead, crafted from bones of the fallen. The miasma of death exudes from the sword, a veritable toxin, toxin to any living being. So what toxin that is, I don't really know. It's a cool weapon. Uh, it weighs just as much as the Zavihander, so it does a, a lot of poison damage, obviously, and has like a really, really high base damage. So, what are what's needed to wield it? Twenty-four strength and thirteen dexterity. So I could actually equip this and use it. a little bit slow but it's probably because I'm slow. We'll go back to the Zweihander and then uh, change all bush stuff back. Before I forget, I think it's on these coffins. You can see it. Maybe not. Maybe it's the other ones. Some people have wondered why there's two sarcophagi, and some people think that it could be like Nito's wife and she may be lost. I'm not entirely sure how I feel myself. I'll catch up with you guys just in a second here. Trying to look at some of the details on this. So, okay, it's not on Nito's and the giant uh, coffins that we get the details that I was thinking of. So it'll probably be on this one and all of the other ones of the catacombs that I was avoiding to look at. So far. 
Unfortunately, coming down here the first time doesn't give us access to the Paladin set. I think it's like around here at the end of it. And aside from those two coffins, there's a third one in here somewhere. Or maybe that's only happen happens after the boss fight. Because you like drop in here, get ambushed by Nito. So you drop in on the other side. So you normally drop in. Okay, so that's where we spawn in. Oh, okay, so you can kind of see. That's where you uh, drop in for the boss fight. The two are over there, so the third one I think should be on this side. No? I really thought there were three. Maybe it's just supposed to represent, like, the Covenant one then. Maybe we'll see it later. Okay. And I will catch up with you guys. I've been ignoring you a little bit unintentionally. Just trying to go through everything. Alright. Katie says, damn these undead. They aren't even fully dead, yet they act like they are. Elder says, three of them if you count the ones sticking out of the wall. So R3... I don't remember where the third one is. Guess I gotta look higher. One, two. Maybe I'm just being blind and it's... I don't know. Aren't you glad you did this? <laughs> There's our coffin. Elda said, you always wonder if the evil eye was like the Basilisk Queen. Uh, Madi Zare says, who are inside the other two coffins? Just some random coffins? Yeah, we don't really know. So a lot of people have gone off the deep end trying to figure out who it could be. So unless there's something in DS2, which I don't think there is. Like, there's nothing explicit, essentially. Effervescence says, the best thing about the Dark Souls remaster is that the Gravelord Covenant actually works. Gravelord Sword number one twink weapon. Stella says, in folklore is the gaze of a Basilisk that was deadly. So maybe that? Maybe. Katie says, Gabriel Weekend once pointed out how the extra miracle names are. Sorceries have Soul Arrow and Pyromancies have a uh, Fireball, but Miracles have Grave Lord's War Dance and the Wrath of the Gods. Miracles are stories, though, right? It makes sense. Effervescent said, You can get the Paladin set after killing the Black Phantom pa Paladin Leroy. You don't need to kill Nito? Oh, really? I had no idea. Huh. So you can get the Paladin set kind Well, kind of early. At least not needing to go and get the uh, Lord Vessel. So at the very least, like the Paladin set's really good to get early on because it has a really, really high uh, curse resistance. It's also like a really good armor set. This is not your regular death, this is advanced death? Yes. Tanner said, always bugged you that there are five pinwheels in the room before this. All have the same death mask of the pinwheel family. Would have been nice if they could have at least given them something unique. Yeah, to at least make the boss stand out, I agree. So it looks like the assets or like the textures of this uh, game aren't super good. Like these are still kind of garbage looking. Maybe they look better in the catacombs, but I'll, I'll show this off in a second here.
All right, I was trying to pull up something here, so hopefully we can show this off. Maybe it's not going to look very good no matter what direction we look. Uh, so this isn't the full view of it. Let me try to get the side profile then. Not this one, I guess. I'm pretty sure it is. It just doesn't look right. Let me... So it's a different one, isn't it? Hold on. Pull it up. Okay, so this one is different, but I've, I've seen it before. I don't remember where I have it in my notes. Let me scroll. I think I might have found it. Let me check another one. Let's just do a circle, essentially. So, this one's backwards, I think. So maybe this is it, but it's just backwards, reversed? Uh, I mean, this uh, thing that I'm trying to show off here is also reused in Bloodborne, and it's a like higher fidelity image. Is uh, this came out in the time of PS3, and Bloodborne came out in the time of PS4. It's probably gonna look the same no matter which one I look at, unfortunately. Uh, so okay, this one might be decent enough. So this is like a um, a 3D render of the uh, image on screen right here, but if you kind of reverse it. Now, if I remember correctly, this is supposed to have been taken off of uh, the sarco of a sarcophagus, and the title was uh, Dionysus Unveiling Ariana. So, um, if you look at like the woman figure here and like the two deers over there, it's kind of like at the very center of it, but just kind of reversed. So, sorry, this kind of looks like garbage, but I did kind of find out where. That image was taken from so it's also possible that it's just like a stock image and that FromSoft hired another team to make these assets which is something that they've done and they've said that they do so it might not have like a ton of lore significance but it might I don't know so like if you look down right there at the very top of the screen that looks like the dog that's like underneath the double horse looking like thing so hopefully you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about Tanner says, hey LP, have you seen Illusory's Walls videos on Dark Souls? I've seen a few, not like a lot. There's a lot of uh, extra Dark Souls content I need to catch up on. Emlyn, welcome back. You said, ever think of the Grave Lord Sword, Miracle Swords as the Coiled Swords in the Bonfire? No, they look really different, I think. So we could just show it off again. Uh, let's try to get closer to a wall. So like these are made out of like bones as opposed to like the Coiled Swords. Bones of what? I'm not sure, but bones. Probably dragons or something like that, then. Okay, so that was all of that. How much Estus do we have? 
three. I mean, we could try it. So what is the original supposed to be? Uh, it's Dionysus unveiling Ariana, essentially. The Dionysus is the Greek god of, like, wine, and or maybe that's the Roman version of the name. I don't remember. <laughs> I looked it up a long time ago, and I kind of forgot a lot of the details over time, unfortunately. Actually, maybe it's clearer here. Oh yeah, it is a little bit clearer. Um, a little bit. Oh, this is a lot brighter. Okay, I could probably actually work with this. Uh, wait, no, this is a different one. This doesn't look the same. But I feel like I've seen this also. Uh, not that one. One shows up in Bloodborne. Yeah, this one doesn't have wheels. Oh well, I think I, I have it saved somewhere, but I just don't know where it is. So I did try to like look into what the symbolism of like uh, Dionysus would be, but I didn't find like a ton. So let's drop down here, and then maybe restore our humanity there. Well, let's just loot the items, and then we'll do all that over again. Lord Soul of a Nameless Soldier. And then, if you're a human, you can drop over to this side, I think, and summon in... Is it Leroy for a pinwheel? Which I've never done, but... Try to show it off. And then we get the preset. And a mace. Distinctive hat worn only by the Way of White Priest in Thurland. It is simply meant to show their position within the hierarchy. It holds almost no meaning in the land of Lordran. Robed on by the men of cloth of the cloth, though plain to the eye, it's really robed on by the men of the cloth. Though plain to the eye, its hardy fabric repels rain and keeps the body warm. Those dissatisfied with church teachings must test their faith by going on a spiritual journey, such as the ritual of self purification of the way of white. Six thirty gloves made for travelers on extended journeys. And so this is probably the same. Okay. And then we picked up a mace, which isn't going to be too important. Iron hammer with a protrusive pommel. Standard weapon for clerics. The simple bladeless strike weapon is effective against most foes and can break the guard of a shield. However, one miss leaves one wide open. And this one doesn't inflict bleed like the, the Morning Star does. Stella says, You didn't realize that Ariana was a variety of Ar Ariadne before? That art lore, though. Dionysus was also a god of rebirth and mysteries, mysteries so it fits with Nito. Okay. Tanner says, Love all these little gems you find. Thank you. Elda says, Like, was it uh, believed Zagreus was another name of Dionysus? Maybe. I don't exactly remember how it all fits in. Um, I was gonna go fight Pinwheel, but I don't want to kill it. I mean, I could save it. Eh, let's just let's just farm some of these for souls. If we die, we die. Then we'll just uh, use our humanity at the bonfire and then like summon for Pinwheel just to get some of the footage, I guess. go ahead and rest. Reverse hollowing. Oh yeah, we need to actually use our humanity here. Actually, I wonder if I need to be a certain covenant to uh, summon Leroy now that I think about it. Oh, we'll see. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and save Scum.
And then probably after Pinwheel, we'll probably call it for today. So it, it's funny because every time I fought Pinwheel, I've one shot it and been surprised at how easy of a boss it is. So just as the curse of the streamer today, we're going to crash for ages for whatever reason. <laughs> Elda says, Zagreus was the mantle of Dionysus when Zeus took his uh, pregnant mother's ashes after seeing his true form disintegrated her, and he cut Zagreus down from his thigh as a sort of rebirth. Okay. Maybe that's supposed to fit with Nito and the Finito, then. I don't know. I didn't I hit that one? Oh. Good that we did that now. Okay, so we can see the summon sign. Well, that was unintentional. Well, that's why we save scummed. Damn gravity. Never on my side. It's disappointing that we didn't get the patches dialogue. That'll be really easy to get in like New Game Plus though if I really need it though. Seeming to have a streak of missing his first dialogue in the games that I've been playing. <laughs> Try dropping from the other side of the bridge? Okay. Oh yeah, that could make sense. Zagreus has been linked to Dionysus, but it may have been a later merger. Yep. I was saying, like, over here. Yeah, we could probably make that work. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't heal. I didn't heal. How do we get over to that one? I think we just need to actually like roll. Okay. Look at his hammer. Kind of reminds me of Morn's hammer. Paladin Leroy. I've never summoned him. No gesture, so definitely uh, not a sunlight bro, just a way of white bro. The shield looks kind of cool like this, though. So that uh, bone wheel's gone, so let's try to get our souls.
Isn't this gonna finish? I guess not. Gotta run away and uh, fight Pinwheel. So I will uh, pull up my binoculars now. And as we fall in, we should switch my set. Oh well. After the after the fight, we'll just uh, get run over by some wheels. Essentially, he almost got got by all the, the bone wheels. Leroy's legit. Notice how Leroy's helm is similar to the Drangle helm in DS2. Yeah, that's a good point. It does look like a ruined sentinel home. Now that you mention it. Hmm. That's cool. Okay. Okay, wait. Pull that out again. So maybe it was this one that I was thinking of. Well, it just repeats like super super uh, often okay anyway coming down here we'll fight our next boss uh, this boss has been always really super easy to me so watch it give me trouble this time around pinwheels like the volnir of dark souls one his uh his appearance and lore seem super cool but kind of a, a joke fight he's got like a bunch of uh, lanterns or whatever on its like little arms uh, three little masks its Japanese name is essentially like a three-person coat so the way that I always did this fight is I just YOLO sprinted in and watched it bro what is our, our boy doing And then, like, the one hit with my, um, Zweihander just stunlocked him. So does he just like clone himself uh, infinitely or something? No. Oh shit, he killed him. Uh. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even see him hit him. Right of Kindling, Humanity, and the Homeward Bone. I'm probably just gonna reload to get more footage of that. We got the Mask of the Mother. Oh yeah, this will be good because we can at least show off some of the other items that it drops. So this is Mask of the Mother. One of the three masks of the Pinwheel, the necromancer who stole the power of the Grave Lord and reigns over the catacombs. This mask, belonging to the Kindly Mother, slightly raises HP. So, uh, some people have wondered whether or not Pinwheel was trying to take the power of necromancy to uh, revive a dead family member, or his dead family. He's also dead himself, so it's, it's a bit weird. Uh, maybe the father's the one that's still alive and carries the corpses of his, of his uh, wife and child on him. That's kind of metal, but... Uh, when you come into the uh, boss arena, we've got like all these skeletons and stuff like hanging about. And, uh, this is essentially, like, in the tomb of a, of a giant, the coffin of a giant, like, top art's, it's lid. It's, uh, filled with a bunch of books. So he's definitely in pursuit of knowledge, and, uh, we've got, like, the butcher knives, essentially. But nothing to really do here, so we'll, we'll probably just reload it. Um, I'm just gonna try to show off some of this stuff. Kind of hard to see and make out, I guess, even in this one.
It might be easier to see from the top. Well, he was the legendary paladin Leroy. You're not wrong. Leroy's legit. Uh, the Japanese name for Pinwheel derives from a party game where three people get under a blanket. One of them pokes their head out. The other two each use one arm to lift a bowl for the top one to drink from. Katie says, you've checked what Leroy's etymology means to be sure we're not missing any deep lore. It apparently means the king in French. No deep lore here, probably. Mahdi says, uh, Miss Noble's ancestor. You just as assumed Leroy got named from the meme. Yeah, I don't know if uh, Miyazaki and uh, the developers of FromSoft knew about uh, Leroy Jenkins. So as we come into like the giant catacombs here, or Tomb of the Giants, the light gets oppressed and you can't really see where you're going. So the only thing that lights the way, kind of, are these uh, prism stones. But we're not going to go that way just yet. I guess we could go try to fight Leroy and, like, get the lantern and stuff later. Shortcut ahead. So that's a, a dev note. Interesting. Never put that together. So yeah, I don't know what those symbols are at the base of it. I don't know if that appears on anything. Maybe you I mean, I don't honestly believe this, but in, in some ways it kind of reminds me of the Sunset Seal or like the Chaos Seal in, Dar in Dark Souls 2. And we certainly don't have like a plethora of items to which we can compare it to. Oh yeah, and these don't have like the big pictures like the other Dark Souls games. A little unfortunate. Oh yeah, but we did pick up the Rite of Kindling, so we might as well show that off. Isn't that a key item? Okay. So, Rite of Kindling. This secret rite allows bonfires to be bolstered, bolstered, bolstered further with kindling so that even more Estus can be collected. Kindling was a sacred rite passed down among clerics, but all undead can imitate the process in the same manner that they, that they can restore their hollowing with humanity. All peculiar that humans that had found little use for humanity until they turned undead. So if I remember, there is a few differences in the translation here. Overall, it's pretty similar. It's more like, um, um, trying to remember. Actually, let me look it up because I, I don't want to say the wrong thing here. So by concentrating the fire, the bonfire will grow larger, a ritual in order to increase the amount of Estus gained. Passed down in secret holy legends, but the ritual itself can be conducted by all undead. Is it because only after becoming undead that the path to utilize humanity can be obtained? So uh, humanity is more like the human nature. So it's, it's, it's like once you're undead, that allows you to be able to use humanity. So... There's a very uh, slight like flavor difference in the the last line there, but I don't know. I find it pretty interesting, and I, I think it uh, has some kind of important implications that like normal uh, humans before they go undead can't use humanity. And then for some reason that the like path to use humanity is like put into quotes in in the Japanese. So it did seem like there was supposed to be some significance to it at least. No Paladin and Leroy is actually named after Leroy Jenkins. You read that somewhere? The meme was so big at the time, even the Japanese heard about it. You just noticed that his arena is inside a coffin? Uh, Elda says, you wonder if the giants filled out his graveyard because they used them as shock troops in the Great War. It's possible. Roy, Ray, and Rex mean king and... Okay. Elta says, the Japanese translation hits that undeath revealed humanity's purpose is kindling. Maybe. Okay, so let's reload the game and uh, fight pin Pinwheel again. And this time we probably won't summon uh, Leroy Jenkins. Maybe I should stay with the fat suit. <laughs> Did I upload it or just downloaded it? I, I think I downloaded it.
I'm afraid I'm going to do that one time, just upload when I don't mean to. <laughs> oh, that jerk. <laughs> so much for uh, preserving my humanity. Oh, and all my souls. I should reload it. I'm not going to, though. <laughs> Elda said, maybe even humanity was allowed to be spread upon the Ring City, beyond the Ring City, because uh, Gwyn was planning the inheriting the fire cycle for a long ass time. Bruh. Just go down. Oh yeah, that actually does damage. That was just silly of me. Okay. Big ol' tendon check. So yeah, as I was saying in, in the previous streams, um, I think since humans don't know that the true nature is the dark, and that their spirits are dark spirits, dark souls, um, they're attached to the illusion of life, as Aldia and Vendrick would say. And so it's in their perceived interest to keep life as they know it continuing, even if uh, in the end it can only lead to a small tragedy, as like affinity and stuff say. Bruh. Oh yeah, because we uh, did that. I probably don't need a ton of Estus to kill but Pinwheel, but we'll see. Actually, let's not go that way. This way, even though it's a little bit higher. Roll, 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 roll. Gently down the stream. Oh, that's scary. Why is he still alive? He's skeletons, man. Let's uh, equip an item here. <laughs> oh, I wasn't even aiming? Okay. We'll see. <laughs> Pinwheel part two. Electric boogaloo. You don't need a trick weapon to hunt cleric beast when you have the Zweihander. I mean, uh, Ludwig's Holy Blade is kind of like the Zweihander. Yeah, my first time dropping into Pinwheel's arena here, I was like, holy crap, this dude is going to be a beast. But, uh, he wasn't. So I wonder why there's that indentation on that skeleton's head. Or its skull. 
And it's like as we go through the fight, like we don't really see it again. Then I hit it. I think that was a clone because it was purple. No, it's real. Oh, I died. Oh wait, we killed it? <laughs> well, that's one way to get back to where we needed to go. Oh, we get the homeward bone as well. All right, so we'll go back into his uh, ring, get our souls, and then uh, use the homeward bone out. Millhouse says just in time for the easiest boss in Souls history. I don't know, the Witch of Hemwick is actually easier. Pinwheel. I mean, I kind of screwed up, but. Definitely on the easier side of the spectrum. Shouldn't have had my shield out, I should have just two handed it the entire time. I still have these out. The undead fear the flame. Reject the shield, embrace the two-handing. That was a close one. <laughs> I mean, still got got. I feel a little bit silly for having died that way, but... Oh wait, we didn't even get a, a cool item from it that time, did we? Just the right of kindling, the humanity, and all that. So how many souls is that? Holy crap, 17,000. Okay. So let's go back to gonna pass it up. Firelink. Or maybe no. Damn it, I don't know what I want to do now. Well it'd actually be really get easy to get here anyway. So I'll figure out what I want to do off stream. Just uh pour it out and then level up. And there's still a little bit more to explore here, so I might come back, start here at the beginning of next stream. Then I might try to fight Leroy just for the hell of it, or like rescue Rhea. That might be worthwhile if she's actually down there and meet patches and stuff, even though it's like super early and not necessary. Uh, no, it's probably uh, I'll, I'll figure it out. Okay, so for all of you who've uh, tuned in today, uh, thank you for dropping in, and hopefully we'll see you next time uh, tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So until then, uh, stay safe and hopefully we'll see each other again. Take care.